Hey everybody, how are we doing? I'm Connor Shaw. <clears throat> Joining me are these ones. And hey, did you know that video games require time to set up to be able to stream them live on twitch.tv.com? I didn't know that. I came in with two minutes left and hadn't even begun to set up the stream. That was fun. Anyways, uh, let's play the video set game. Up also, the we're stream. also That's we're cute. these ones. You were making we had... coffee. <laughs> I, yeah, I also you, had you I also had to set up the stream. I also was making coffee. Yes, that's also important. <laughs> but I, I literally like started OBS, got my camera uh, set up and positioned, made the announcements, uh, all of that. Oh man! Oh man! Oh, right boy. I set up the stream up. <laughs> Hello. That. that is five more gifted subs from Rick, dude. You don't have to keep doing this, man. But all right. Thank you. Wait until something funny happens. Nothing so, funny's happened you know, yet, don't. other than my own. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> Hey, boys, you're, hey, we're playing Phoenix Wright and Zoro, Ninja Skittles, uh, a Mizzou, Gar, oh boy, Gargoyle Tech, and, uh, Loco, oh god, I'm so bad with names, Local CB Galena, something close to that, I'm sure. Thank you all for being gifted, thank you all for being lucky, is what I was gonna say. There we go. Thank, thank you, you all for being a gift. Thank you all for, yeah, a gift to me and to mankind. Also, we're doing good. And today is, we're finishing up the trial, Phoenix. That's the wrong button. This is trial get... two, correct? Technically, yes. yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. So we're finishing up trial two of game three. Yes. It, yeah, because uh, we had the tutorial trial, and now we have the actual trial. I'm the one who knows this game the best of the three of us, and I still have to ask that. <laughs> uh, thank you, seriously, Rick. Thank you so much. I don't know where this hey, money's Nick. coming from, but I appreciate that. <laughs> Nick! What are you doing? Hey. I'm preparing for the trial, Maya. You're making coffee! <laughs> <laughs> what is it this I can time? Do both. <laughs> you won't believe how many how many people here <laughs> You won't believe how many people are here for the trial! Uh, I thought she was gonna say on trial. <laughs> uh you there's currently people fourteen here. people here for the trial. Thank you all of you. Uh, money coming from you working and doing bad decisions with your money, but it's okay since I like supporting you. Okay, if you're, if you're calling it, if it's self-described bad decision, I'd say consider in the future your, yourself before me, please. I, I really do appreciate the love, but try to also keep yourself in mind first and foremost. But hey, as far as bad yourself. as far as bad decisions with money go, <laughs> that's a pretty nice one, thanks. That's a very kind one, yes, thank you. Yeah. Well, it is a murder case. What are you talking about? They're here for the trial next door. Wait, what? The juicy trial. Next door? Why don't you know this, Nick? Oh, they're having Detective Atme's trial today. Oh, no. So we're going to be hearing the background constantly? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Just, just the background. <laughs> oh no! They say they're gonna try him as Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Already? That was fast? Speaking of, uh, $5 from Rick. Uh, I'm trying, but it's okay since I didn't use my mo this money for like four months. Four months is a year in, in a quarter of the time. No? Yup. No, no. <laughs> yup, no, no, yes. 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 Off to a splendid factual start. Nothing but cold hard facts. My point presented. was, four months isn't a lot of time to save money. I would recommend saving up to buy a video game if you are interested in playing video game. Uh, <laughs> we got the Jatefo coming at some point. That would be a cool video game to buy. Also, food and taxes and bills. Although, for all I know, you're six. So maybe you don't have any of those. Also, what job are you working at, six? <laughs> ba ba baby law. Just just like pearls. Also, this is a mood, what you're about to say. Boy, I'd love to see Nicolas Cage's trial. Me too. I really would. What? I know. Uh, by the way, where's pearls? Oh, she went back home. She said she can't neglect her training anymore. She said, said she can't waste about... time. Go ahead. She said 
she can't waste time with us anymore. She's gotta <laughs> actually get back to work. You know how nine-year-olds are. <laughs> she said, I'm nine. What am I doing? And then left. <laughs> I know you don't like me. Girls had really gotten into her training lately, huh? Yeah, ever since that uh, incident last year. You know. Please, don't ignore me! No, oh, Mr. Doi! Good morning! Uh, do you want me to stop calling you Rick? Uh, I was calling you that because that was what your name on other platforms was, but I can stop doing that if you if you want me to. It's <laughs> like if you if you rather me call you you're used to it. If you rather me call you uh Chief Rickless Cage, yes. Don't do put this not thought in my head. Do not ever say Rickless Chief again. Rickless Rickless Chief. Also, yes. I have I seen said Rickless Cage, but yes, despite all <laughs> your age. Uh, yes, I have seen the new Hat in Time DLC. It's cat themed. I'm excited. Ooh. Rickless Chief. Oh boy. Mm. No one likes me. No one would notice me, even if I had killed someone. Come on, don't be silly. Wait a sec. Look at all the people here for someone else's trial. God, why you are they all standing in this room with us? You don't mean you're the murderer. No, no. I'm just a poor thief. God, now I'm just imagining, what if... What if Twitch worked? <laughs> <laughs> I can't get the idea out of my brain. What of if Twitch one, worked? <laughs> of one person sitting at a computer playing a video game and just like 20 people standing around them watching. Yeah. <laughs> like in the same room. <laughs> anyway, technology is amazing. Oh, there's a new One Punch Man episode out. Better than the last two episodes. All right, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to check it out. Because the last two episodes range from... Uh, to fun. So... I'm excited to check it out. No, wait, that's not right. A thief can't really be poor. I mean, sure, if you're bad at it. <laughs> now, let's see. According to Mr. Delight, from his second crime on, he was following a bunch of set plans. Plans that someone had been sending to him to help him commit the heists. Uh-oh. Whoa! Wow! My whole computer froze for a second, and I was oh, like, "Good." Uh, that's a dramatic pause. Oh, oh no! It could be scored. Oh no! It's my whole computer. It's also, fine, before you read the I line, Eladiel just just gifted a subscription to Lucerio. Wow! All right, thank you. Cool, cool. Hey. Boy, is a this a Connorshaw stream? It is. It is. Yes. I'm sorry in advance. Could it be quality <laughs> content from a quality YouTuber? No, it couldn't. No. <laughs> Definitely not! Why would you ever assume that? Do you think there's a connection between the thief and the murderer, Nick? It's possible, but today's trial is a race against the clock. Huh? How come? Let's just take our time, like always. Take Maya, the last trial that we did in canon was a race against you dying. Yeah, that's why we need to take our time. Is I wasn't here for the trial last time. I mean, we just count. need to soak it up this time. Not fair. I'm afraid that's not an option. Me? Uh, oh, okay. No, they, they won't explain. <laughs> I think I know why, but they won't explain. October 14, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number six. Oh, God, I have to do the judge's voice. <clears throat> How do you think I feel doing Godot? <laughs> uh, I, I would happily do Godot's voice if it didn't mean I also had to voice the entire courtroom except my, uh... Yeah. <clears throat> hey! The court... <laughs> no, yeah. Well, and Ron. The defense is ready, Your Honor! Oh, yeah, fair. You're ready. Preparation is the last refuge of the week. <laughs> unlike, unlike me, I go into trials totally unprepared. Oh, I, a fucking mess. I prepare nothing. I have just been standing here the entire time. I wasn't really sure where to go, so I figured I'd just chill. <sighs> okay, settle down, everyone. Let's begin with your opening statement. Mr. Godot. Uh, he's got the judge in, his, in, the, in one palm and in a cup of Joe in the other. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Ron Delight is simply too young to be sent to war. 
That's all. Too young at the age of 23, if I remember correctly. Oh, no, not that one. No, that, that's Nicolas Cage. No, Ron, you, you missed Ron. He was right next to you. Uh, Ronnie boy. Yeah, 23, yeah, 23. that's right. 23. Too young. Years old. Too young. Too young for war. You, mu you must be this old to war. Too young. Too young. <laughs> Too dead. What? Why is he not aged? Hang on. Age 48. Yeah. Spoilers! He's not actually dead! Ba ba bomb! <laughs> I'm afraid I have no idea what the fuck you're on about, Mr. Godot. I'm sorry, what if that was actually how we got Ron off? <laughs> like we got Ron off the guilt or uh, a not guilty verdict because Kane Bullard wasn't dead. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it says right here, Your Honor, he's alive. And as we all know, attempted murder is not a crime in this no. legal system. <laughs> huh. Then you need to get out more, Your Honor. Are you gonna do 50 player mode when it comes out in Hat in Time? Probably. We'll probably try it. Also, yeah, Hat in Time is getting a 50 player mode. Wow. Fucking hat and time battle royale, god yes, damn it! Yes, but no, god. not actually. It's just, it's just you can ha have a map going, uh, a, a multiplayer map going, and up to fifty people can join. As far as I know, life is war. That is exactly why you must be more precise in your wording. There it Since is. Says the man who speaks exclusively in metaphors. <laughs> That's all my statement means. You understand now, right? Um, okay. Now then, let me briefly summarize the details of this case. Wow, the judge is taking charge like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> the victim is Kane Buller, CEO of KB Security. His body was found in a, in a safe at approximately 9 a.m. on the Monday of the 13th. Um... On the Monday morning. of the 13th. Morning! Shut up! However, the time of death was estimated as 1 a.m. the previous day. That's not how that works. It's the same day. It's the same day. It's 1 a.m. It's the same day. And that's when our little lost kitten dropped the ball. Wait, hang on. Did they actually mean that? Did they actually what? mean that? That there was a whole... There was, there was more than 24 hours? That a whole hours? day passed? Um... I don't even know if it'll matter. No, no, I they think didn't they mean, mean more, um, the, the next work day. Yeah. I think. It, it, it's just, in a game that's supposed to be very specific, that was a bad way of wording it. Yeah. That little lost kitten is, of course, the defendant. Very well then, Mr. Godot. Please call your first witness. <laughs> I have what? I never drink more than 17 cups of coffee during any trial. You know that that's just his record and that number will change. <laughs> He'll say, I never drink New more than 20, 23 cups of coffee in a trial. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> but the first one is always the best. Yeah, because the first one is curing your addiction, the rest is developing it. <laughs> um, Mr. Godot? Your witness? This cup of coffee is my witness. <laughs> okay then, let's hear what the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight, has to say for himself. This is Godot's first trial ever. Well, no, well technically, th technically this is the second. Trial. Yeah, technically this is the second trial. Because we won the first one. So he's saying that he drank 17 cups of coffee during yes. the previous trial then. Which means there were a bunch that he drank off screen when we weren't paying attention. Oh, for sure. Yeah. The defendant. Well, Mr. Wright, does the defense have any objections? It may be a bit of a disadvantage having a defendant testify, but... I remember when Mia was defending me. She allowed me to testify so she could do a cross-examination. And she said she regretted it for the rest of her life. And she said she regretted it for the rest of her life. It... That... Ah! Huh, that wasn't a clear no, so we're going for it. What? <laughs> oh, alright then. Ron! Get the fuck up here! You sure love that Twitch is lagging during the Epic Connor Shell stream? Sorry about that, Carl. You did it. 
didn't you? Yeah. What? Uh, uh. No, 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 no. That, 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 that's not true. Hmm. I do believe that's perjury, but okay. For a moment there, I thought we set the record for the shortest trial ever. <sighs> well, Mr. Delight already looks plenty guilty with that face he's making. Once he opens his big mouth, he'll probably put the last nail in his own coffin. Huh. <laughs> Very well. Now then, can you tell me something? If you didn't kill Bullard, why did you go to KB Security? What? what well, I... That's kind of hard to say. Boy, I wish I could go home. Aww. Now then, let's hear some testimony about what happened. My visit to KP Security. That evening, around 1 a.m., I went to see Mr. Bullard in his office at KB Security. Okay. The blackmail letter I got, it ordered me to go there. Okay. Hang on, let me actually get a refresher on exactly what it says. Come to KB Security at 1 a.m. It didn't order him to go to his office, but also he could assume that it was the office if it was the CEO blackmailing him. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll, I'll keep that in mind, but that's probably nothing. Yeah, I'd been working for KB Security until a year ago, so I knew where his office was. Okay. But that's it? 1 a.m., the exact time the murder took place. Wow, we're already at 2. Yep. The weak get washed away by the tides of fate. <laughs> the strong drink it up. And that's how coffee is made. <laughs> it's been <bitter laughs> today, too. Just like my destiny. I love him! Okay, I think I already got the end screenshot. I'm just gonna... Yep. There we go. Holy shit. You never know from the way he's chugging it down. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, if you please. My visit to KB Security. Okay, that evening around 1 a.m., I went to see Mr. Bowler in his office KB Security. I'm actually, there's only three statements. I might as well press them. You might as well press them, yeah. yeah. 1 a.m., huh? You're absolutely sure about that! Y yeah. That's what my watch said when I was entering the CEO's office. No. Actually, I'm... Not really sure. My watch was slow, and my internal clock was also a bit slow. 1 a.m. That's the exact time that the victim, Mr. Bullard, was murdered, correct? It's too late for a coffee date, that's for sure. Bullshit. I mean, you know, if you're weak. <laughs> <laughs> weak. Like this coffee. Who made this? This isn't Godot Brand 69. Slow this isn't- shit. This isn't even strong enough to severely burn Mr. R Mr. Trite's face. <laughs> what is this? This is disgusting. I haven't slept in months. <laughs> I haven't slept in 30 years. I no, do, we don't know however, age, constantly everyone. shit my Yeah, head. I know. I know. <laughs> we don't know his age. Pretty I'm much hoping for around 30. Room, which is round the clock shit coffee shit coffee. <laughs> kind of a wild ride. You ever heard of coffee animas? It ordered you there? Never say that again. Go on, no, ignore it, it move was, on. It was the first time I'd gotten a blackmail letter that ordered me to go somewhere. Uh, you just realize it's, uh, you just start getting to learning a game engine called Godot? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, it's... Good. Oh, I was just gonna say, it's a fairly common... I don't know if it's... If it was a common term to use before waiting for Godot or not, I'm I don't know look, a ton I, about theater. I, I know I, that's I a show. Uh, the first thing that comes up is the game engine on an incognito search. Uh, it is a cross-platform compatible game engine. Uh, initially developed for several companies in Latin America before public release. Woo, we hmm. learned something today. It has been used in, in many games, including... Dog, uh, Dog Mendocia and Pizza, Bo Pizza Boy. Also, it's been used in West Virginia's high school curriculum. Curriculum. Wow. Curriculum. 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 
Cur wow. Curriculum. Jesus Christ. Curriculum. I'm trying to put click in there Jesus somewhere. Christ. Confused. Anyways, video games. Connor does not need the help becoming confused. <laughs> does that mean you got another blackmail letter since then? Uh, oh, of course. They say things like, steal this or take that. <laughs> Why don't you say it with the letter? Is it like, please don't say anymore? Uh, also, it, does he only speak in metaphors or coffee references or coffee metaphors? Yep. Yeah. That's also and yes, yes, he does. Yep. Exactly. Sorry for derailing you guys there. It's okay. I would have derailed no. myself. <laughs> now, what should I do? Uh, I mean, there's only three statements. I feel like pressing harder might be a bad idea, but what is this game if not a sequence of bad ideas? Go harder. <laughs> so, what did the blackmail letter in question say? It said to bring $50,000. Money, eh? Perfect motive for committing murder. Uh, can you say that again? But there's no question mark on eh, so I want him to say it as flat as possible. Money, eh? That, that's hard to do, isn't it? Shit. Money, eh. Money, eh. Money, eh. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not coffee. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> perfect. So anytime I get an eh without a question mark, I'm just gonna turn into Eins. Got it. Eins will go. Oh, but wait, wait. I never intended to pay that money anyway. That's not helping your case at all. Oh, is that right? After all, he had nothing to hold over my head. I had nothing to be afraid of. Hmm. Important point indeed. Witness, let's have that added to your testimony. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Huh. <laughs> a muddy mud skipper in outer space is a better chance of surviving than I do. What's my favorite Pokemon? The blackmail <laughs> thread? It meant threat. I'm making a call-out post on my Twitter.com. I'm making a blackmail thread. <laughs> Shadow of the Hedgehog's a little bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Just what were you being blackmail threaded about anyway? Um, the blackmail letter said, if you don't want me to make a call-out post on your Twitter.com, correct? Uh... No, it said something about my identity, but whatever. We already have I'm one running sure... joke where we have to change the dialogue. We can't have another. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it was referring to the whole Nicolas Cage thing. But I wasn't worried. Mr. Bullard didn't have anything on me. He didn't? Anyway, I don't care what anyone says about me. Just as long as Desi believes in me. So that's why Mr. Light didn't believe he was Nicolas Cage. That's why I knew they were just hollow threats. Hmm. Oh, that's actually nothing. Unless I can present something on it. I mean, Unless I can, can but it also really doesn't help my case. Wasn't well, going to cause me trouble or anything. Uh, can you check the note again? Or, excuse me, the thread? Twitter.com thread? I'll hmm. take that red diamond you received the other day instead. Wasn't gonna cause trouble or anything. Huh. Oh, wait, no. That's wrong. No! Mm -mm. Your Honor, that statement contradicts the evidence! I should have made coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it does? I don't see anything contradictory. Today. Huh? Uh, oh. Alright. Now you see what it's like to lose in this game. Unless we've already <laughs> lost in this third game, and I'm just too tired to remember. Okay, let me, let me try this again. Uh, let me think. So... No, 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 no. We should, before we move on, and start presenting press the, press evidence... The final statement? Yup. That's what I was gonna do anyways, but then Marina was saying, hey! Yeah, do that! And I said it with confidence. <laughs> and you were I'm wrong. A I'm a genius. Oh, no! That's, that's what caffeine does for me. It I... takes away my confidence. Oh, I'm a shit, genius. That... Oh, no, I'm an idiot! Is, hang on, is, is that why I have no self-confidence? Yes. Yeah, it's too much coffee. Shit. But it's good, because confidence only makes you wrong, as we've learned Godot, today. like... Don't like uh, integer overflowed on confidence by having too much coffee. I mean, look how like, handsome he is. Of course, he must have been an asshole. His confidence got so low the number rolled over, and now he has maximum confidence. <laughs> you used to be a security chief for KB Security, right? 
Yeah, that's right. Also, Amy's qu quiet right now. Oh, that's true. Hang on. I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to fix that. No, no, a no, chief. no. You? And yet, a year ago, you were fired without notice. That sounds like a monkey. A really tiny monkey. What? What fucking noise is that? What horrible abomination. Revenge for an old grudge? Perfect motive for murder, wouldn't you say? Hmm. This isn't good. Maybe I should change the subject. Life after being fired. Why? Why he was fired? Don't say anything. Why was he fired? Yeah, that's what I was going to click anyways. Yeah. yeah, we don't. I mean, that's the one thing we don't know about. Hey, Mr. Delight. Why are you fired? Also, never ask anyone this unless it's actually important. It's a pretty lame thing to ask someone. Well... The world is filled with those who have said, I wish I had never asked that. Okay, then I take it back. Uh... Defendant, please answer the question! I... Well, I needed money. You needed money? Um, well, you see... Desi loves to spend it. It's kind of her hobby. Not exactly the best hobby in the world, huh, Nick? It beats no. you in video games on Twitch.tv. My salary wasn't nearly enough. So I stole data from the company. Run! Ronnie boy. KB Security has a lot of security info on all sorts of companies. And since I was a security team chief... How? You stole some data and sold it. <laughs> stole some research. <laughs> I was... Dude, I was really tempted. <laughs> you got a lot to learn. A lot to learn. Look up, look up uh, One Punch Stan on YouTube if you, if you don't know what we're talking about. I I promise you will be both disappointed and immensely happy. It's from the guy who did the Soup Store Code Geass thing. Yup. It's good. Mr. Bullard found out, and I was fired immediately. What?! Oh, I wish I'd never asked that! <laughs> hey, meanwhile, Godot grabs another cup of coffee and goes heh heh to himself. <laughs> I heard your thoughts. Apparently, people can just hear Phoenix's thoughts in this world. That happens a lot. <laughs> I drank account. enough coffee that I'm now telepathic. <laughs> I have transcended beyond the bounds of human nature. I was somehow able to keep it a uh, secret and made it seem like I had quit on my own. What is it, Nick? You don't look so good. Maya, I'm not feeling so good. Someone who brings harm to their company is fired as punishment. You do well to remember that. Sure told you. So you admit that you stole data from your company. Is that a crime? Y yeah, I'm sorry. Damn it, that's another crime to add to the crime book. It is the fucking <laughs> sticky note that he has on his desk. No. Steal... Da. It's just S T E L D A A A A. Steal Dada, but spelt like dada. like Dada, like what a baby, because he doesn't yes. know anything about the internet or computers. <laughs> There's a very important fact, please add it to your testimony. Oh man, this whole thing just took a big turn for the worse, crashed and blew up. <laughs> it's gonna take the jaws of life to rip this case from the clutches of a disaster. Y you're trying to defend him for murder. Okay, hey, hey, Connor. Since we already took a hit, I'm gonna tell you what to do because it makes, like, it really fucking surprises me and I don't like it. Um, let me try to figure it out, but I won't present anything. Let me just try to figure it out first. Yeah. He fired me for selling company secrets, but Desi doesn't know about that. Okay. So... Well, we don't have any evidence that would contradict that. Okay, well, let me press first, then. Why would you do something like that? Well, for Desi's hobby. What else? Wasting to avoid money. confrontation with Desi, I mean, for Desi's <laughs> hobby. I'm a very non-confrontational person, that's why I steal things for a living. It's not a waste! So Miss Delight doesn't know that her husband was fired Does she, for a fucking year? Yeah, one whole year? I'm really good at hiding things. 
did you get up every morning in your uniform and just like walk out like see you later sweetie yes <laughs> the, the like a teenager is... walking out in, in, a, in, a, in a completely school uniform conservative outfit and then putting on eyeliner on the bus on the way to school <laughs> for a year <laughs> Also, I like the idea that his uniform inverts, and like, and like what he's wearing right now on the inside is just a KB security uniform. So it would seem. I'm not sure what to think about couples who keep secrets like that from each other. I can't believe it. This case has gotten even Maya to think seriously about couples. Well, more specifically about my attraction to Miss Delight, but moving on. Please try to stay focused, Maya. Hmm. There wasn't much to his testimony, was there? I th he's avoiding something. I thought you were just gonna like say no. <laughs> no. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. We better be careful. But if we don't find a way to make him spill the beans. Oh, coffee. As Gato's laughing in the background. <laughs> we'll never get closer to the truth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> or <laughs> can, can, can I ask a favor of everyone? Did, did I just realize mm -hmm. something? Can, anytime uh, Godot gets taken aback by something, can people put um, the tea emote in the chat? The, what? The, the spilling tea emote. Oh. Because it, it looks enough like coffee, it'll work. I came up with a joke, but it's kind of bad, so can I say it and then we can move on very quick? Go for it. Uh, Godot got taken aback because spilling the beans is, is what everyone refers to when he comes. Okay, moving on. You promised we'd move on! I remember We're not that. moving on. Okay, so I don't I don't have evidence to present on this, but I also have profiles. So hang on, what do you, what do you, what, what do you, what do I do? Because I have no idea. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's why I was going to tell you. Uh, ignore this statement. It does not help you at all. Whoa, okay then. Do we go back now, and press it right here? Statement? Present a profile. Oh my. Okay, hang on. I do. What? A what? profile. Oh. The only profile that I can see mattering is Kane. Nope. Why is it? Desi. What? What do those two things have to do with each other? What, is, what does Desi's profile say? It's criminals and cowards more than anything. That has nothing to do with I this. I know. Well. Are you sure it's the statement? Statement three. This is the hang original on. statement three. Still not old enough to go to war. No, hang on. One, two, no, three. No, those don't count because they were added later. That is the original statement three. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to press, damn it. Yay, yeah, KB Security! Oh, right, there you go. Okay, that's really stupid. Yeah. At least this walkthrough that has been correct all the rest of the time. No, that's wrong. What? The evidence clearly reveals a contradiction in the statement, Your Honor. That's okay. You know how this game works. Two wrongs. Makes a right. Yeah, again, I don't oh, think that- Oh, never mind. It- so, it lists it as Statement 3, but it's actually the new Statement 3. Okay, yeah, that makes more I mean, it still doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. And also, this is the first time it has oh, been Oh, no, no, never, never mind, never mind. I understand why it makes sense now. I understand why it this makes sense now. It wasn't cause me trouble or anything, yeah, because... She spends it, money like a fucking... Didn't want his wife to find out. Oh, yeah. Objection! Objection! Uh, there we go. Yeah, that makes, that makes more sense than the other one. Mr. Delight, what you this just said right now doesn't sucks. match what you told me yesterday. Yeah. Huh? What doesn't? I think you must have been scared. Very scared. Of having a certain person find out your secret. Go. Cool. Alright, Phoenix. Yeah, just, uh... Just, uh, lie down on the road right there. Bus is coming soon. Maybe... You'll maybe, like, see. A certain person. There is actually a plan to this. Miss Desiree Delight, the defendant's wife. It's actually Desiree, but... Desiree! No, but I... Listen to me, my Desi. Her name's Desiree. Looks like if I just sit back and relax, the fun will end before it truly begins. Gakdo! 
Yes, we know. It's all your wife's fault. What? What? Mr. Delight stole company data to pay for his wife's spending habit, for which he was fired. Unable to face I'm his own wife- I'm glad someone brought this up! <laughs> someone used his dirty little secret to blackmail him. And that is how this murder came about. Oh. Hmm. No! Everything's falling neatly into place for him! Don't talk about my Desi like that. I'll kill you! Or he'll be sorry! I'll <laughs> kill you! <laughs> yeah, I'll murder made a you! Just like I did that fat bastard. I mean, uh, no, uh, I'm innocent. Um, huh. Can anyone else hear that? Anyway, no. it's that we've learned a great deal of things here so far. What do you think, Nick? Fuck, 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 fuck! It's the same as usual? Fuck! Clearly there was a sufficient motive for murder. He stole data for his wife and he killed to protect his secret. A family man who cared just a little too much. Also couldn't f fucking talk to his wife. The motive is clear. Let's move on. Uh... Don't fuck with me or I will cry. <laughs> <laughs> What happened at the scene of the crime, in one in the morning, Mr. Delight? Come now, tell us. We're all ears. Again, I really do like that. He's like, we're listening. It's quite literally our job, but somehow most prosecutors don't follow that. <laughs> when I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. <laughs> Rouge! We found the security room. Suddenly, I was hit on the forehead, and after that I remember being a bit dazed. If I hadn't been wearing that, I would have been killed. Oh, uh, Don't you do okay? that! No. I came to, Mr. Bullard was lying there, dead. What's wrong, Connor? I, I think I just reeled a couple things. Yeah, I feel like a few things just clicked into place for you. I see. Shimley hit on the forehead, huh? I believe the detective from yesterday provided a Shimler testimony. He said that Nicholas Cage struck him on the head from behind. Of course, since Atme turned out to be the culprit himself, that was all a lie. Huh. No one's going to believe a pathetic lie like that. What are you saying? I really was attacked. We'll find out if what you say is true or not during the cross-examination. Got that, Mr. Trite? Don't go easy just because he's your client. If I see any sign that you are, I'll treat you to another cup of my special blend. Oh. I have faith in Ron. I know he didn't do it! Hey, Judge, can we put Godot on trial for just literally threatening me in a courtroom with a fucking, like, burning hot cup of coffee to the face? <laughs> Did it? Threatening assault! Judge! Did, were judge! Were whipped constantly in court in the last game? Why are you writing down Shrieking Phoenix on your crime notepad? <laughs> it, you know, it's a sticky note. Mm. That's right, we decided. on the forehead. After that, I remember being a bit dazed. If I had been wearing that, I would have been killed. There we go. That? Could you please clarify what you're referring to? Why, my Nicolas Cage costume, of course. Did I not mention it has a full bear head on? Wait! <laughs> Bit of a slow burn? Good. <laughs> Nicholas Go Cage! Huh? Oh, did I forget to mention it before? Just to be on the safe side, I dressed as Nicholas Cage. And then I descended upon the office of the CEO of KB Security. I mean, I guess that makes sense, because that way, if you're not certain that the person knows who you are, I mean, granted, it was yeah, sent exactly. to his address, but if you're not certain the person knows who you are, you're not risking showing up. It'd be like if someone was like, oh, I know your true identity, Batman, and so Bruce Wayne showed up and was like, I can't believe you figured out my identity, and they're like, well, well we didn't, but now we did. Holy oh, yeah. shit, that worked. <laughs> oh, goddammit. World's greatest detective, my ass. <laughs> 
Nick, did you know about this? He never told me this. I don't recall him ever mentioning it to me either. Yeah, uh, yeah, even I didn't know that. Give me some tea in the chat, everybody. Give me some coffee. So Ron just strolled through the building dressed as Nick Cage? Yes, he yep. certainly did. That is also, what why, did. why are people surprised about that? He's literally still wearing the costume. Yeah? It was just the mask he's not wearing right now. And yeah, well, mask and hat. Well, yeah, the, I, I like to imagine it's all one piece. Oh, God. That's gotta be the most awkward thing in the world to put on. <laughs> yes. It seems our little friend really loves to keep secrets. Yeah, it's almost like I'm a thief or something. Oh. I'm sorry. I just never. Well, fuck it. Uh, that's good I enough. I thought that was the line you're gonna do. That's not right. Um, you know how sometimes things just slip your mind? Ha! Huh. My sixth cup of coffee is staring up at me coldly. The <laughs> sprite just starts to shake back and forth. <laughs> Six cups. At this rate, at any rate, we can't ignore this duplicate information. Witness, please correct your testimony. You never forget anything when everything's in 4D. <laughs> Why were you dressed as Nicolas Cage? Why does anyone dress as Nicolas Cage? Why? Because I'm Nicolas Cage, of course. What are you talking about? Nicolas Cage's trial is being held next door! Uh, yeah, I guess so. Anyway, at that time... I thought I was being blackmailed over the Nicolas Cage issue. So I thought I should go as him, just to be safe, you know? Oh boy. Let me tell you, it's a real pain to move around with that cape. Then why do you have it? Because I'm a thief. I'm a master thief. It was in the instructions. I'm like I Sly Cooper, except not a raccoon. Also human fleshy. That's why it took a lot longer than I'd expected. It took a lot longer? What is he talking about? Press harder. I, what do you mean by took a lot longer? Oh, opening the safe, of course. God damn it! Ron! Ron! You left the body in, of course. Why are you all looking at me like that? My cape got caught on the safe door, you see. And this all happened when I was hiding Mr. Bullard's body. Ron? You and me, buddy? We gotta talk about this. This thing that you're what? doing. What the- Wait, 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 hold on, back the fuck up! Yeah? You were the one that hid the body in the safe? What- Was- Was that not already known? Um, well, yeah? Inconceivable! Why? Just why? What reason could you have? What were you thinking? That's another really good, uh, panel. Oh, yeah. Question. When does someone toss their dirty shorts in the washing machine? Uh... What? <laughs> the answer is simple. When they take them off. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, your weird coffee man? Do you mean that Mr. Delay hit the body because he's the murderer? What? No, I was just rambling about shorts. What the hell did you look into that? <laughs> He's talking I'm about actually, my shit-filled shorts. I'm actually wearing shorts underneath the desk here. <laughs> just fucking jortsing it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we both just made Godot slightly less handsome. Or more handsome, depending on what you're No, <laughs> no, wait, shorts. wait. Way less handsome. No human being is into that. <laughs> you could be into jorts and you could be into, like, scat play, but you're not into both. Oh my god. No one is. There's no crossover. Godot blend number <laughs> 107. Yeah. Uh, so you're not as stupid as thank, you look. Thank you for not acknowledging that. Nope. <laughs> This metaphor this time was really obscure. Is nobody else paying attention to the fact he just shit his pants? Mr. Hutt, <laughs> you don't mean that you knew about this whole safe business, do you? Uh, yeah? Why am I the only one not in the loop here? What? Ah! 
Yes, sir. Do whatever you just said. Uh oh, looks like a storm front is moving in over the fair weather judge. <laughs> the body the same it took about 10 Thank minutes. Why did you hide the body in the safe, anyways? Well, I'm afraid of confrontation. Because it wouldn't fit in a drawer. Oh my fucking god. He was too fat. That's not exactly what I meant. When I saw that corpse, I kind of lost it. I thought, if they find his corpse, they'll think I did it. No one knew you were there! Huh. <laughs> I think you had a simpler reason than that. It's because you killed him. That's why you spent ten minutes hiding the body. Hmm, that certainly makes more shunch. <sighs> Hold on. Ten minutes? What is it, Nick? I just had a thought. I'm Under scared. Those circumstances, <laughs> would you normally try to hide the body and spend ten whole minutes trying to do it? No, I would normally pour myself a glass of tomato juice and put it on the dresser. <laughs> Under those circumstances? What circumstances? Oh! Hey, Nick! If you think his behavior was so strange, why don't you present some evidence that would show just what those circumstances were? That's it! I'll take a look at the court record and present some evidence! We heard this from Mr. Delight yesterday, didn't we? There's not much in his testimony, either. I bet you he's still hiding something. I wouldn't be surprised. We'll just have to draw it out of him. I just hope he doesn't make things any more complicated. But that's what I'm good for. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, when I came to, Mr. Bowler was lying there dead. I panicked and hid the body. It took about ten minutes. I think I know what I have to present. Uh, buzzer record. The buzzer was going off. The alarm is going off. It makes a yep. it makes a very loud sound. We know mm. it does. Objection! Yes. Objection! Your Honor, could you please take a look at this record? And what might this be? The record for the emergency buzzer that connects the CEO's office to security. If the button in the office is pressed, a security team is supposed to come running. Uh huh. And according to this record, the buzzer was pushed once at 1.02 a.m. <laughs> if Mr. Ron Delight truly was the murderer, he would have ran off as soon as that buzzer sounded. After all, a security guard would have been heading his way. Damn, that's deep. Yeah, that, that's what I've been trying to get the voice like. Yeah, that's huh. sick. Let's remember who we're dealing with here. He probably had no idea there were security personnel in the building. He worked there. Just let me grasp, ago, okay? My client was working as chief of security. Also, the building is called KB Security. <laughs> There's no way he wouldn't have known about them. Oh, damn. But, as it turns out, the guard never came. That was nothing more than a coincidence. Also... I don't want to get into that. <laughs> the fact that the guard was a pathetic loser who had just gotten punched in the face by his ex's new boyfriend and wasn't anywhere in the vicinity was something that Mr. Delight could not have known. I'm so glad what? I get to remember that again. I... That she broke up with him by having her new How... boyfriend punch him in the face. <laughs> How do you know that? Whatever. Again, remember who we're dealing with here. It's a sure bet that Mr. Delight didn't even notice the buzzer going off. I love this back and forth. The buzzer is extremely loud. I would know because Maya here pressed it. There's no yeah. way he could have ignored something like that. If he had been conscious, that is. Conscious? What do you mean by that? Ugh. Take a sip. All right, back to full health. <laughs> Fine, let's hear your theory. Godot is one of those characters uh, in uh, in a game where you have constant health drain, but every time you get a kill, or in this, ca in this case, drink a cup of coffee, uh, you restore health like way more yeah. than anyone else would. So his health is constantly going down until he drinks coffee, and then it's fine. What do you think That's... about it? It's basically how real life works, too. Your health is constantly going down until you eat and drink water, and then you're fine. Uh, I was going to say car, but yeah, I guess people Wait. are the same way. <laughs> Wait, what? hang on. No, go back. What? I was gonna say, like a car. How you, oh, you gotta gas? keep. 
Yeah. You know how when you're driving and you have to keep putting gas in the tank as you're driving? <laughs> It's just like that. Yeah. First of all, I drive a Tesla. Secondly, I don't drive. Third, I don't own a car. And four, when a car is stopped, it doesn't need gas. Yes, it does. It does. You just didn't bother asking. <laughs> it's just moving back and forth really fast. <laughs> Remember the defendant's testimony. The moment he entered the victim's office, someone attacked him. Mr. Delight said he felt, quote, dazed. I'm willing to wager that he was knocked unconscious for at least a few minutes. Unconscious? Shall we fight him? Uh, yeah, yes, that's what that means. And that's why he didn't know that the buzzer had sounded. And that's why he thought he had time to hide the body. S so what are you trying to say? He's actually so incompetent, he turned around and gave himself an alibi. Mr. Delight was knocked out and the buzzer went off soon afterwards. Now, unless my client was able to hit the buzzer while he was unconscious, it could only mean that there was another person in the room. That's right, whoever it was that knocked Ron Delight out and pressed the buzzer. Also, we should probably mention the fingerprints. Order in the court! Mr. Wright, th this is... Th this is preposterous. It was this kid. Ron Delight is the one who killed Kane Bullard. Then who pressed the buzzer? It, it was... the victim, of course. He pressed the buzzer when the defendant attacked him. He didn't die right away. He must have held on long enough to push that button. The, why, why, Phoenix, you have proof. Ah! Mm, so Kane Bullard shot the buzzer himself. What is your opinion of this, Mr. Wright? I need to prove that the real criminal was there at the scene, but how? All right, here we go. Can I prove it wasn't King Bowler who sounded the buzzer? I uh, yeah. I can prove it, all right. I can prove uh, it. I don't think you can. The defense's that opinion is this, Your Honor. It, does, it doesn't exist. No. This piece of evidence proves that it wasn't the victim who sounded the buzzer. Uh, the me... buzzer itself, I right? I think so, yeah. It there are no fingerprints. Yeah, no there are no fingerprints on it. Take that! That's because he Take was wearing that. gloves and the defendant just removed them after killing- Beep beep! Take that! Take that! Yes. Take that! Press! Beep beep! Press the You're button! You're not saying press! You're not saying- Press the button! Stop the press. I believe this is the piece of incontrovertible evidence you were looking for! I don't know if that's what that word is, I couldn't read it in time. That, no, that was actually it. correct, or wow, incontrovertible, okay. yeah. That also works. The emergency buzzer? Is there some kind of... clue? Absolutely not. Hey, come on now. At least give some thought to what you say before opening your mouth. NEVER! Uh, Trials and Tribulations... <laughs> no! I refuse! Trial and <laughs> Trials and Tribulations cornered theme is still the best cornered theme in the whole series. It's fucking great. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> The fact is that there are absolutely no clues, and that's in and of itself a clue. What? This button has no fingerprints on it. If Mr. Bullard had really pressed it himself, naturally he would have left his fingerprints behind. Give me something <sighs> in the chat. There's the spit take, you were right, Austin. I thought so. Yeah. R Ron Delight obviously wiped them off. He would have pressed it again as a result. <laughs> Why would he? A guard would have come at any moment! He touched that button. I know he did. I watched him do it. Damn it. The defendant, Mr. Delight, was dressed as Nicolas Cage! And Nicolas Cage always wears gloves! What reason could he possibly have had to wipe the button free of fingerprints? That's true. Nicolas Cage always wears gloves. Yes, have you as ever seen As we all know, they're not? just flesh gloves. Oh, yep. no. Yep. <laughs> uh, Marina's very, right. It's part of his flesh suit. Yeah. Huh. It would seem... I've been forced to eat crow. I wonder what blend number crow-flavored coffee is. Um... Uh... uh I'm trying 83. to make a joke. Why is that, is that... Was that a joke or did you just choose a number? No. That's How would you just, even cacoculate that? It's not Co funny. It, it's just a fact. No, what a concoction. 
No. Okay. Oh Stop. <laughs> However, if the real killer was there at the scene, why would that person press the emergency buzzer? Shouldn't they have run away without putting themselves in extra danger? <laughs> What's with this awkward silence all of a sudden? Huh. It looks like you're fresh out of parlor tricks. They're on you, Nick! Oh no! I pressed the button! I'm sorry! Just give me a moment to collect my thoughts! The real culprit killed Mr. Bullard at around 1 a.m. And Mr. Delight just and happened Mr. to Deli waltz in. Oh, whoops. And Mr. Delight just happened to waltz in when the murder was taking place, right? It was Nicolas Cage! <laughs> the killer clobbered Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Nicolas Cage. No, wait, that's no, wrong. Mr. Ron, whatever. And then sounded the buzzer. Buzz Even though security was Thank supposed you. to respond right away if the buzzer was pressed. Security was supposed to respond. Huh. Time's up, Mr. Wright. Let's hear what you have to say. Uh, uh very well then. Oh, you got some guts. I like that in an opponent. Uh, to find out what it we did is a pretty did. good Just response. Just like Maya. To call the security guard, they didn't mean to. I could see to call the security guard. Because we don't know what the circumstances of... How, how did he die again? It was blunt force trauma, right? Yes. Yeah, so... I'll think about this. If if we're operating under the assumption that Ron didn't kill this man, someone did, and is most likely framing yes, this... exactly. That's why I'm going to call the security guard. Yeah, exactly. I, 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 I could see it being... Ha, put the two of them in the same room at the same time. One of them is dead. Uh, and the One's other one, unconscious. Uh, uh, yeah, and the other one, at that point, you don't care if they're dead or unconscious. You, you're yep. putting them in the same place at the same time. Yeah. Uh, yep. The call is security guard. Well, Jesus Christ. Larry actually, Larry actually did something good for once. <laughs> the killer knew if, a, if they pressed the button, a guard should come running. <laughs> Larry's, Larry's only useful when he's not around. Yep. Yeah. Larry's non-existence is more useful to us. And that's exactly what they wanted. Do you mean to say the killer called the guard on purpose? Yes. Although, as it turns out, he never showed up. Because he was getting his clock cleaned at the time. Both literally and figuratively. He's got another thinker and he was cleaning it. Oh no. Huh, <laughs> what a touching story. I like clocks. You're saying the killer had a change of heart and called the guard to turn himself in? No, I'm not. When that buzzer sounded, there were three people in that office. The victim, Kane Bullard, who was already dead. The defendant, Ron Delight, who was out cold. And the third Whoever this person, could be. the real killer. It's this a very... It's a very easy, it's a very common shadow. Yeah, I was just gonna say this completely ordinary shadow. Completely unremarkable shadow. Hypothetically, yes. Now then, in this situation, if the real killer had made an escape, what would happen? The only ones left in the room would be the victim and Ron Delight. And, and if any security guards came running in at the time, they would think that I was the murderer. Yes, that was precisely the real killer's objective! To frame Ron Delight for the murder! <laughs> it would seem... Yeah, he's fine now. I've been made to eat my words once again. Actually, you've been made to do a spit take. With a cup of coffee. Good. Also, my <sighs> ring light just died one moment. M Mr. Wright, who was it? There we go. Who was it that tried to frame me? Or, wait... Wait a second. I'm the one and only Nicolas Cage, so... Nick! You mean the real killers? We're gonna drag that person in here right the heck now. But, but, who is it? 
I don't have any solid proof yet. Think about it. The killer knew Mr. Delight's identity, and they also knew that he had been called to KB security that night. So the killer used him to execute a well-crafted plan to murder Kane Bowler. Well-crafted is a bit of a stretch. Now then, let's hear your accusation, Mr. Wright. Who was it that framed Mr. Ron Delight for the murder of Kane Bowler? Gee, whoever okay. could it My be. My badge! Desi! Nicholas Cage, the real one! <laughs> now that's a man who's old enough to go to war. That's a, that's a man who needs to go to wow. war just to get shot. That fucking worked, by the way. Detective Luke at me. He was the only one who could have done it! I don't have any solid proof as the story of this Ace entire series. Detective Luke at me? You mean Nicholas Cage did it? Your Honor. The person being tried in the court next to us is not Nicolas Cage at all. He is, in actuality, the true murderer of Kane Bullard! Ah, oh, Mr. Wright, explain yourself! Also, I really need a drink. Hang on. I will be right back, everyone. I do, too. I gotta go get my coffee's ready. We'll be right back, everybody. Don't go anywhere! Woo! Okay. I am here. Got another cup of joe and I'm ready to go. Is the marina uh, here? A marina is not here. All right, we gotta wait a moment then. <sighs> oh, meanwhile. Oh, is that, is that a marina? That's a marina. Yeah, I'm back. Right, I was cool. gonna get coffee, but Dad forgot to put the water in, so. Oh, uh, yeah, you have a, yeah, that's right. You have a curry as well. Uh, no, a French press. Oh, that's right. Oh man, I wish I had a French press. I can get one. They're cheap, anyways. Theft and murder. Which of these is actually a crime? I mean, murder is the only crime. Wiretapping. It's a capital crime subject to a capital punishment. Please remember the trial from yesterday, if you would. Oh God. When Luke at me confessed, there was a huge commotion in the courtroom. Of course, a famous detective was unmasked as, well, as Nicolas Cage. Instead of being convicted of murder, he was found guilty of grand larceny. That was his true objective all along. He be found guilty? Nicolas Cage had the perfect alibi for when the murder took place. That's right, we're doing a full reversal on this, motherfuckers. He was stealing the, the urn at Lordly Taylor. In other words, being found guilty as Nicolas Cage was Luke Atme's airtight, watertight, and unassailable alibi. I'm guilty for it. 
as an alibi. That was exactly what he was trying to do. Yep. You know, it's almost time. For coffee. For what? For Luke Atme's verdict. It was a pretty simple trial, after all. If we're gonna stop this trial and stall that one, we need to do it now. Of course. That's assuming you have proof that the detective was the one who committed the murder. Uh... Mr. Luke Atme's trial is indeed attracting the attention of the entire country. Why? If we were to intrude and fail to provide adequate proof of his true crime, Mr. Delight would be left with no grounds for appeal. Am I really sure about this? Huh. A bet's only good when your life's the ante. Mr. Wright, I, I believe in you. Oh, good. The twink believes in me. So, so please. I'm begging you. The, the clever thing about this, too, is the fact that it also gets the one person who could out at me for all the previous, like, pulling the strings behind the thefts. Exactly. It gets him out of the way as well. Exactly. Because anything he'd say, people would be like, you're yeah. a murderer. We don't because trust you. The three people who are involved... One of them is himself, one of them is mm -hmm. dead, and one of them would be uh, would be hanged. So, mm. thanks, yeah. but my decision will determine the rest of your life. Can I really risk your life on this? Oh. Phoenix. <laughs> Ghosts! What was that? Don't stray, Phoenix. For your client, take the path of trust. When has that ever backfired? <laughs> that voice! Definitely wasn't last trial that it backfired. Your Honor, the defense requests an immediate recess. I need to talk to my dead boss. Huh. So that's your answer, huh? Also, what was that about a dead boss? <laughs> what was that about a dead boss? Anyways, sure. 20 minute recess, why not? Mr. Wright, when we return, please summon Luke at me to the stand. Yes, Your Honor, have a... Wait, isn't it my job to summon witnesses to the stand? Back to the district courtroom. Oh, this is the other one. Oh, yep. boy. Of course. <laughs> well, Sir Detective at me. This oh, is what boy. happens when all of the prosecutors decide to go on plane trips to God knows where. <laughs> yep. Hang on, I gotta take off my fucking hoodie for this one. Are you, are you ready, Connor? Okay. Because you're not ready. Mr. Payne, you performed splendidly! Oh no, Sir Detective at me. You're the one who... Oh. <laughs> yep! Remember back when I said you need a second judge voice? This is why. Or do you want me to do the second judge? Uh, no, I, I'm the judge lineage. Fair enough. Also, I hate his beard. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. That's What's enough. not to love? This court sees no reason to further prolong this trial. The court finds the defendant Luke at me. His hair is parted so severely. Wait! Don't hand down your verdict yet, please! And he has the world's longest neck beard. Yep. Well, well, sir lawyer. Welcome to my courtroom. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Ugh. Who's this hoser, huh? Oh my god. Oh, my name I is- Alright, he's Canadian! Yeah, I was Wait, gonna oh, say, I forgot oh, that he's Who's Canadian. this Ogier, huh? My name is Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, and I wish to file an accusation against this man, Luke at me. Uh, accusation? You accuse Nicholas Cage? That man is not Nicholas Cage! He's just a ruthless what? murderer! Wh what? <laughs> gotcha, motherfucker. Gotcha. To be continued. Oh, uh, that's only an hour, though, obviously, so we're gonna keep No, to, to be continued immediately. Yes. Bing, bing. I have coffee now. I still have coffee. It's too hot to drink. Same. Just record defendant lobby number four. My this? I could have sworn I heard Mia's voice. This is the first time this has ever happened. So then, she's still alive. 
inside your heart. Give it to me. <laughs> I can get to your heart. This one cut. I can free her. Give me your heart. Nicky boy. Oh, Mr. Light. Is it true that Detective is the real killer? Well, that's what we're about to find out. But he's the one, the only one who could have done it. But wasn't he at Lord Lee Taylor that night? Not to mention, we don't exactly know his motive. I mean, why would Detective at me, at, at, at me want to kill Kane Bullard? Uh, whoops, forgot a motive. Back to the courtroom. I need to find some solid proof, and it's gotta happen sooner rather than later. Gumshoe, can you get hit by a car again? Sure thing, pal. Where's Freddy <laughs> kicking down doors when we need her? Oh, Freddy. Wait, can Phoenix also channel spirits now? Sort of? Only <laughs> Mia. Just Mia. The guy who's meant to be Canadian, if I recall correctly. Well, now we under now I understand. Yep. Now then, this court is back in session. Mr. Luke at me, please take the stand. Well, well, how do you do, sir lawyer? I never would have thought to see you, see you acting so recklessly. I couldn't let them hand down the verdict just yet. Not when it would have given you your perfect alibi. An alibi by the name of Nicholas Cage. I'm sorry, I'm afraid even the great Luke at me has no idea what you mean. Of course, I have been in the next courtroom ever since 10 o'clock this morning. I'm afraid there's no way I could know what's going on in here. And that will no way be relevant to finding evidence to use against me. <laughs> you have been the defendant sheet all day long, correct? Being tried as Nicholas Cage. Indeed. It's truly child's play to fool the ignorant masses. Not only did the poor fools ask me to protect their valuables, they even gave me a generous reward upon returning their own property to them. Take this red diamond ring and focus on my divine hmm. finger, for example. Hmm. So you continue to that. insist that you are, in fact, Nicolas Cage. Uh, of course. Very well then, look at me. Let's begin with this with this with a simple question. On October 12th, 1 a.m., Kane Bullard was dead. Where were you at that time? Oh, well, without knowledge, he lacks even the knowledge that should be ashamed of himself. But uh, don't worry, I won't hold it against you, sir, Judge. Uh, thanks? <laughs> All right, Mr. Atme. The night of the murder. Speak. We're listening. As you wish, Sir Prosecutor. I wanted to say prosecutor, but I thought maybe you wouldn't understand. It's a joke. Oh, uh, where I come from, jokes. Uh, jokes are the only people we have. I, was, what? I could have connected that better, but anyways. I was stealing the urn as Nicolas Cage, just as I announced I would. I had more than enough time to prepare. It was a pathetically easy job. A photograph contains no words, but in this case, one turned out to be my witness. Uh, the time at which the camera captured Nicolas Cage was the same time as Numbers, the not words. It's numbers. They're different. It's worth a thousand words. Hmm. So the main point of discussion will be this photo of the crime scene. Everything else up until now was all part of his plan. There has to be a secret to this picture as well. Even the great Nicholas Cage cannot be in two places at once. Beg you fucking, fucking take different. You fucking take that back. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you insult Nicholas Cage like that? Also, where's Atme's lawyer? Good question, by the way. Who the fuck was defending Atme? I'm sorry, you think this man would get a lawyer, a lawyer to defend him? You think this uh, man I, I guess. I guess he, he probably wanted to defend himself as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now then, if you'll excuse me, I have a verdict to receive. Cross-examination, motherfucker. We're, we still have to do your cross-examination, motherfucker. A fool is too foolish to know... Th uh, okay, hang on. Can you read this line at the exact same time I am, and I'll just, like, let it bleed into Francesca? Three, <laughs> two, one. A a fool, a fool is too, is too foolish, foolish to, know to know that he is a fool. Yes, thank you. 
Nick is trying to say that you're full of it, Nick. The only thing that's full of it is his alibi. Uh, God, I'm, I'm sorry. Are, are we not addressing the fact that he just started sounding like a woman there for a moment? Are, are, no. we, are we not? Do, are we not doing that? He he went from a creature to a human, and we're not addressing that. Francisca's hiding in the corner. No, a oh, different okay, corner cool. than the one that Edgeworth is hiding in. But I believe Adrian Andrews hired you at one point. How much should I address my right. coffee then? Uh, it was over uh, twenty days ago, if I'm not mistaken. You sent the calling card to Lordly Taylor ten days before the heist. That would mean you sent the card after you began your security watch, right? Indeed, there was no reason why I couldn't do both jobs at once. It was the perfect opportunity to steal my uh, latest target. I see. You truly are evil, aren't you? Uh, yes, evil is what I am. Hey, Nick. Isn't there something odd about this? Huh? Detective Atme was always proud of his ace detective skills, right? If the urn was stolen from Lordly T Taylor while he was the only one watching it, he'd have no way to maintain his perfect ace detective persona. You know, that's true. It is kind of odd. Hmm. So by photograph, you mean this piece of evidence here? Is that correct? Indeed it is. That is it! The very thing that proves I committed the crime! The very thing that proves you committed the crime. When you think about it, it's really odd. You say that almost as if you had this picture taken on purpose. He was simply caught by the very camera that he had set up. <laughs> What's hard to believe that? Any that? We all have days like that. You know, when you put a camera in your room to film your own porno and then don't have, can't hire anyone to do it with you and then you just do it yourself. Days like that. Indeed, I know that feel exactly. Do oh, not the... make comparisons between me and that thing. The things this nose can do. It turned out that there was no such thing as a perfect crime after all. Life is truly an ironic thing. A sad blue melody. What the fuck is going on? If he's truly the killer, there's gotta be something phony in that photo! Uh, I actually do want to uh, take a hard look at the photo now. Uh, I'm just, just looking. Uh, treasure exhibit, security demo. Alright, let's see. So, so, 1258 AM. Wait, no, hang on. Would that be right? It's zero, zero, oh, yeah, just before one. Yeah, 1258. Yeah, yeah, 1258 yeah. uh, AM, okay. Now. We have the, we have the paint box. splotch over there that is not covered up. And the box, which doesn't have paint on it, but it could, but we just can't see it. Hmm. And he's missing the brooch. Hmm. It probably has to do with you. the paint. It probably has to do with the paint splotch. But I like the oh, exact probably. way to. That's why you have to hire someone to make sure every shot is consistent. In, yeah, exactly. In, in the exact movies. way we have to convey that information. I've already forgotten what that job title is. I think I learned that the other day and I've already forgotten. <laughs> Carried into the basement warehouse on the day of the crime, moved again that night. And let me check the paint splotch one. When Adrian dropped the Erd's bo uh, box two weeks ago, she also knocked over some paint. Now. So that that two weeks ago is important. Because we know that that photo, let's just assume it's undoctored. That photo is at 1 a.m. on a day. The paint splotch is there, but uncovered. Which the Annie Face statue why? was. Yes, was okay, why, why, would that he, day. why would he want to move the statue? It wouldn't make sense for him to move the statue. There's no incentive for him to do that, because it would have been inconsistent. The statue was put there afterwards, which means the photo was taken beforehand. Uh-huh. There we go. Got- okay, I, I- I knew- I knew vaguely how that connected, but... Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna press this, but I'm pretty sure I know what I have to present. Hmm. About the camera that took the photograph. Oh, come now, it's too all clear, take it easy, you two! What? 
You yeah, I'm with I I'm with Mr. Trite on this one. On the photograph, don't you? I'm afraid that's impossible. You see, time cannot be stopped. You see, because time is a circle. <laughs> that, that is, is why, why clocks are, are round. round. <laughs> Thank you. The camera was set up by Lordly Taylor, and on top of that. It was Lordly Taylor's staff that printed that picture's data. Unfortunately for the defense, there's no way that the picture could have been altered. I see. Looks like I'd better find something else that could be suspicious. So, this alibi is false? It has to be, or else he couldn't have killed Mr. Bullard at KB Security. But, I'm not really spotting anything unusual. There are two possibilities. Either the Nicolas Cage in the photo is a fake, or the photo itself is. Alright, so, alright. Um. Oh shit, one too many. Um, Fake alibi, huh? Yeah! Okay, <laughs> swing the urn. Photograph. Okay, yes. Time by which the Hang on, was hang on. Same was time. the same time as the murder. Oh, okay. The photo like, doesn't. False alibi, huh? Damn it. Two <laughs> possibilities, eh? The photo the doesn't urn. contradict the time. It was pathetically easy. A photograph fades their words, but in this case, one turned out to be my witness. Time in which should... the camera captured Massive was the same time as the murder. That's technically yeah. true. So, Hang press on. this first. I already did, but... Oh, you did? Yes. Hmm. Do I have to press it again? Yes. It's one of those you ha you're you supposed to press it after uh, two and four. You mean, you mean this piece of evidence here, correct? Indeed, yep, 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 yep. Very thing that proves I committed the crime. The very thing that proves you committed the crime. Surely even you understand by now. Lordly Taylor provided the camera. There's no way I could have tampered with it. That means I could not have killed Kane Bullard unless I had an accomplice. Hmm. There we go. Yep. Come on, think long and hard about that night. The basement warehouse and the picture that was supposedly capturing it. It's gotta be here. Isn't there something funny about this picture? You bet there you is. You bet there is. Are you implying that the picture's a fake? You bet I am! There's definitely something strange about this picture! We took a walk around the basement that night, before the theft took place, and there's something in this photo that doesn't match my memory of that night! Very well, then let's hear what you have to say! What about this photograph do you find? Funny. Haha! <laughs> she fucked up! It's still funny. You see, there's a miniature thinker inside of the camera in charge of pasting a timestamp! We all know thinkers cannot tell the time. Wrong. <laughs> That's right, the camera changed time zones, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It's 13 hours ahead. <laughs> the funny part is right here. Why, that's hilarious! Oh god, blind! Now the case is getting interesting! Uh, no, not exactly. This isn't Duncan Rumpa. It's no, it's pink paint. Oh, just paint. Oh, peach colored at that. From blood to peaches, the judge sure loves going on his wild tangents. Anyways, it's time to go on a wild tangent! This, but the problem with this photograph is not the paint. The problem is when you consider the layout of the basement warehouse. It turns out that something should have been there that is nowhere to be seen! Oh, fuck. Well, Mr. Wright, what is supposed to be in this picture then should have the paint change? Amifei. Amifei? Amifei. Amifei. Ami Faye! Ami Faye! I am Ami Faye! I am Ami Faye! I am Faye! Thou art I, and I art thou! Press the fucking button! Okay. You said That's you wouldn't do it for the prison- for the, uh, yeah. take that. The supervisor of the treasure exhibit st stated the following. Well, there's good reason for that. On the day of the crime around noon, Golden statue just happened to arrive from the mountain trail. I realized the statue would be the perfect size for filling up the pastings. That's why I put it where you first saw it. And that's exactly what you sounded like! I was there myself to take out the murder take place night for a theft plus bounds plus statue! If that picture was truly taken on that night, then that statue should have been there! Objection! That's a horrible impression. 
Don't bully that girl. She's been through enough. But when I was there the day after the theft... Why isn't Austin doing the cage voice? Because the joke has gone on long enough and he also doesn't want anything to do with Luke at me. Well, it, yeah. it's, well and also uh, we decided that when he's being the thief, that's... Oh, yeah, when, yeah, when someone it, has it's yeah. when, It's when someone's in costume. Yes. Yep. It's like a voice modulator in the mask. Even yeah. though it doesn't cover the fa the uh, the mouth. <laughs> it's all in the nose, baby. No, it's like uh, it's like uh, that one Batman costume that has voice modulator on the fucking neck. Oh god. Because <laughs> the mouth is completely uncovered. Read the line. That statue of the old bag was sitting in the corner. Did somebody uh. say my name? No. No. Wait, no. <laughs> Have you summoned me? Be gone. I hear nothing. Ah! Your Honor, this statue is slightly larger than yourself and slightly heavier than yourself. It would take more than an accidental push to move at that distance. Huh. In that case, can you prove it? Can you give us the rhyme and reason as to why that statue was moved that night? It wasn't- Can you do it, Nick? It wasn't. Never mind who moved it. The real question is, why did they move it? And the answer is, they didn't, Nick. Damn it. Oh, Mr. Wright, I hope you're prepared with your answer. Now then, who was the one that moved the golden statue on the night of the crime? Can, can I just say no one? No, 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 no. Keep no, in mind, it was it. It, it was moved. That We know that for a fact. Yeah, because when no, we were the there, morning. it was on the paint. And then yeah, when we the went back, it was not on the paint. Yes, someone moved it on the night of the crime. Just we don't know. what. Like, it's not... We know that the photo is of a different day, but we know that... At me was at Lordly Taylor at some point. So he could have moved it because he's like, oh shit, that was there before. Yup. Continuity. When I Take made that, that. Take that. The one who moved the statue was none other than Luke at me. Come now, sir lawyer. There you go again on one of your strange delusions. Mr. Wright, what basis do you have for your strange delusions? It's very simple. I'm strange and deluded. The witness was the only one in the basement warehouse that night. Oh, that is indeed very simple, however. Why would I want to move a heavy golden statue? The reason for moving the golden statue. Here's where our battle really begins. Well, Mr. Wright, what reason did the witness have to move that statue? The reason can be found here in the photograph. Luke Abney, you pretended to be Nicolas Cage to create an alibi for showing you, showing you were at Lordly Taylor that night. But this photograph contains a single fatal flaw. If the statue had been there, your lie would have been exposed like a cheap film at a drugstore. That's why you moved the statue. What's a drug? Interesting theory. Please enlighten us. Just where does the, in this picture, does this lie exist? Like the same place again? Nope. Oh, it's the not time. the paint block. Yup. Mm -hmm. Time! Time! Naturally, the lie in the photo is in this timestamp. What do you mean? I'll tell you exactly what I mean. On the night in question, Luke Atme went to KB Security and murdered Kane Bullard. Therefore, it's obvious. It would have been impossible for him to have been at Lordly Taylor at the time. Yeah, I, I like looking at it from another perspective. But what does that have to do with the statue being moved? Remember, if you will, Your Honor, when was the statue placed beside the warehouse door? Well... The statue was taken down to the warehouse on the day of the crime. Sorry to piece it together, Kraus. Yup. And it was placed there in order to cover up the paint. Exactly. Luke Atme had already decided on the time he was going to kill the victim. And so, in order to create an alibi for that time, he took this picture days before the murder took place. W what the? Of course, the statue hadn't yet been brought down to the basement warehouse yet. Uh? Yeah, so, on the day of the crime, Mr. Atme must have been quite nervous. As nervous as a long-tailed cat in a rocking chair factory. Um, I see my metaphors are, w are wearing off on you. You know, my metaphors are better than that. Try harder, Mr. Trite. Maybe then I'll oh. get your name right. 
So, anyways, because something wasn't supposed to be there. Had been brought down in place where it was suppo wasn't supposed to be. And that is why Luke Atme had to move the statue on the night of the murder. He did it to I'm make ready. the room match the way it had been in his photo. Never make that sound again for the love of God. Order, Mr. Atme. Hey, wait a moment, Your Honor. I have you forgotten this? What's that? The data for the basement warehouse computer. According to this, uh, the camera did indeed go off on the night of the crime. Hmm. It's true the camera had been set up by the Lordly Taylor staff. However, the program used to manage that data was yours. That alone would have allowed you to tamper with the data. Uh... Ah! Mr. Godot, what is the meaning of this? Do a spit take. No! I warned you about making me wait, now put that coffee down. My 11th cup. The game is counting for us, we don't even have to worry about it. I've promised to drink no more than 17 during a trial. Which means, I'm still good till the last drop. However, the defense made a very good point. A good point. So what? I do want to have a spit take of Godot in the uh, in the collage. I'm now realizing. So yeah. I don't know if you can catch it. We are all but travelers on a road of infinite points. Um, I think I got your points mixed up with your other points. That was a solid. S read. Sick burn. Thanks. So you say this photograph was taken ahead of time, and that the statue was moved in order to make it match. That's a very interesting idea. However, there's one point that can't be denied. Which is? Where did my cup go? Twelve. There it goes. That it's only a possibility. A gay possibility. Men that are trapped by the chains of maybe can never reach their dreams. That's very true. After all, I fulfilled my dream of becoming a judge at the age of 15. And here I am, at the age of 17, still a judge. No, no, no he, he's 50 now, come on. Don't fall for that, your honor. I like how that's a lot better. No, again, he looked like that at 40, and he's yes, just stopped aging. That's not better. That's, that's canon. Hey, Mr. Mr. Cage. I almost said the wrong name. Uh, uh, um, yes. If there's no funny business in your actions as Nicolas Cage, there should be no problem with you with you telling us your strategy. So let's hear it. Thank you, Godot. Tell us what a good thief you are. I like how Godot cares more about actually finding the truth than he does winning. Yep. Yeah. Yes, please provide us this court with your testimony about your plan to steal the sacred urn. Alright, this is so fucked. Here we go. <laughs> Stop. I first received that. the request from Lord Lee Taylor about 20 days ago. The urn was placed in the blocks, and Zavari, it was then sent off to the warehouse. Hence, I was actually unable to see the urn for myself until the day of the crime. I knew it was an extremely valuable treasure, so I had sent my. Yes, it was! Oh. <laughs> Go on! This is Ten days cap. beforehand. I then handled security by myself to ensure that my crime would go smoothly. At last, I held the urn in my hands for the first time at 1 a.m. on October 12th. That's pretty much all the stuff we've heard before, isn't it? Yeah, but we will find the truth hidden in the nuggets of new information he gave us. Witness, you're sure there are no mistakes this time? As if I... Why I need a change. Let's go. I need a yes or no. Let me begin the question. This is the second trial, technically. We te this is technically the second trial, even though it's part of the same same turnabout, uh, same chapter. It's it's technically the uh, technically yeah. this, uh, a different trial. Same episode, two trials. Okay, so here's what I want to do. It was sent to the warehouse. And so I was actually unable to see the room for myself until the day of the crime. I knew it was an extremely valuable treasure. So, I'm not gonna present just yet, but I do wanna see. I, I think we have evidence that proves. That it was oh, maybe we don't actually, hold up. Because we, we know it's worthless. Um, but I, don't, I don't know if we have evidence of that. Yeah. We do not. Shit. 
However... The card again? Just huh? the um, calling card? Just real quick. Just for me, because we haven't seen it in a while. I will be coming to purloin the most priceless tre work, work of art and display your treasure crane exhibit. Take good care of the speckled urn. Speckled. 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 Hold, up. hold up, hold up, hold up. Speckled. Speckled. Uh, before, I thought nothing of that. I thought it was just like some weird, like, hey, you know, the speckled urn, but uh, hang speckled. on. Speckled. Bullshit. Hang on. Is this right? Um, nah. I, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. No, no, it, you're you're on the right track. It's just this is not the place to put it on. Go to the next pi uh, statement. Oh, no, no I'm yeah, sorry, cause... never mind. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yeah, here. it's this yeah. one. Yeah. No, it's it's almost every uh, every statement in this. It's just uh, I think the one that it's the last one that I was thinking of. I finally held the urn in my hands. Yeah, the logic's oh, all yeah. connected together in that, like, yeah. if this is your first time seeing it, there's no way you could have described it by sending the card out ten days prior. Yeah, you're the speckled yeah. urn. Exactly. Like, the speckled bit is what screwed him over there. Mr. Atme, if you really are Nicolas Cage, then you also wrote this calling card, correct? Uh, but of course! Is there a problem with that calling card? Allow me to read a passage from the calling card that Nicolas Cage had written. Roten is what I just said with my uh, mouth. Roten. You did say Roten. Roten. I'm going to do an exact impression of him. <laughs> now, the speckled here surely refers oh. to the pink pattern of the speckled urn. I was There's going to true. do that for you. So what? Truth be told, <laughs> there is no way that Nicolas Cage could have known about this pattern. Of all the of all the impressions Phoenix can't do, he has a spot on Nicolas Cage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hang on, I, I can I can pull it back up if, if we want to do it. Uh, All right. Uh, so it's the the last piece here. Okay. Um, let uh, allow me to read a passage from the calling card. Take good care of the speckled urn, won't you? And that's exactly yours what truly, I... Nicholas Cage. And that's Sorry, exactly the card what he sounded like. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> Sorry, the card <laughs> was still speaking. It's one of those cards that has a chip on the inside when you open it and it plays yes. music. If there's just Nicolas Cage, like, you're great. You're amazing. Well, he's, he's actually, you know, you gotta, um, for, for all those that are visually impaired, uh, Nicolas Cage is actually oh, yes. a very progressive, thank thoughtful, inclusive thief. Thank, thank you, Mr. Cage. <laughs> the calling card has Braille printed at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I, ju I just got a flashback to a Futurama. Is nobody uncomfortable with the fact that he's singing a cappella with himself? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> this pink spotted paddle in the urn is actually nothing more than paint stains. Paint stains! And these stains did not appear until after the urn had been taken to Lordly Taylor. Oh, fuck! I'm not finding this joke to be very funny, Mr. Trite. I'm not either, but he's on the witness stand, so we have to talk to it! But, I mean... Uh, also, hang on, wait. 500 bits! From Link for the Win, have some bits for my favorite game. This this is your favorite game? Did Venus Trine in general or specifically Trials and Tribulations? Either way, thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Yay, yay. Also, and that's a good... Godot just summed up the stream in one fucking line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, that's... Hmm. That's, <laughs> that's pretty much this entire stream. Big mood. Yeah. Big mood indeed. Hang on, what was my other mood that I, I grabbed? It's bitter today, too, just like my destiny. No, I like that more. No. Yeah. The day that the sacred urn was taken to the warehouse, the urn was broken due to human error, or should I say a... Never mind. I'm not finishing that sentence. And that's when the pink paint got on the urn. When did you get those photos? <laughs> who took those? Where is camera? But... But who is camera? You can't be serious. And yet this calling card clearly mentions the paint pattern. Which means Detective Atme had seen this urn long before the crime had ever took place. In fact, he saw it when this fake photo was taken. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed it. <laughs> and because this photo is a fake, your alibi for the night of the murder no longer holds water. <laughs> Perfect. Witness, 
du einfach in den Geschäft geschrieben. All right, that did it. He's broken. Um, Nick, I think it's still a little early for a victory pose. Da, 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 da. I'm doing next victory pose on stream. Never mind. Kick, kick uh -huh. down off of the counter there. <laughs> huh. Da 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 yourself, Phoenix. Da 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 It's so sad. No one has any conviction these days. What is conviction? Yesterday, we all decided unanimously that this man was Nicolas Cage. And then you're telling me we learn new facts and are presented with new evidence and we no, change our down. opinions. Bullshit. That's how the law should work. <laughs> That's how the law should work. You double down on your first instinct. And now we're calling him a murderer. You don't think we're being a tad fickle? That's a good point. No, it's not. <laughs> You say that Luke Atme was the one who killed Kane Bullard. Then let me ask you this. Why? Why would he do that? Oh shit, the motive. Yeah, I was gonna say, he has a good point. We still have to figure out the motive. <laughs> An excellent point. Motive, Mr. Wright. Motive. Might you have mercy, murderous motive manifest? Nick, he's getting a second wind. He was prepared an alibi and pinned his crime. Delight, as you say. He must have had a very strong motive for murder. The only one with any motive we've seen is Ron Delight. Isn't that right, Detective? Indeed. According to my own research, the boy's motive is clear. Without a motive, it's nearly impossible to prove guilt. No? There's I always disagree. evidence. Nah. Nah, need a motive. Yep. If someone kills somebody for no good reason, then how can we possibly say they're guilty? No, then maybe they can enlighten us to what the defendant's motives were. Uh, thank you, Sir Old Dimer. They're doing everything they can to make Ron look suspicious. Despite our lack of hard information, this may be our only chance. Motive for murder. Let's see. I, look at me, had no points of contact with the victim whatsoever. Kane Bullard decided to investigate Nicolas Cage and simply mistook who he was. It was Mr. Bullard who wrote the blackmail letter and sent it to Ron Delight. And it was again Mr. Bullard who harbored a grudge against Mr. Delight for his betrayal. Sorry? Yeah. Hmm. Betrayal? Yes. He stole from the company. Oh, that's right, that's right. We yeah, know right. that. Yep. <laughs> Mr. Bullard's mistake is quite excusable. The defendant truly believes that he is Nicholas Cage. That is why Mr. Delight saw it fit to kill Kane Bullard. Oh, truly a tragedy. Show the victim Kane Bullard. Blackmail the defendant. This is the blackmail letter found in the defendant's apartment. You know that thing that was already addressed? A handwriting yeah. test confirms that Mr. Bullard was indeed the one who wrote the letter. Okay, so it's not a fake. How did you do a handwriting test with a dead person? How'd you get... How'd you get that out of my evidence trash can? <laughs> it's a trash can. I reached in and grabbed it. I was looking for... <laughs> I'm out of coffee. I was looking for anything vaguely Keurig or coffee machine shaped. I just started pouring various trash into my cup. Anything, please. All right. I'm you know, running out of health. I need my coffee whatsoever. potion. I just want to look at my evidence for a second. There was an edgy pretty boy in a suit hiding in there. I just chucked him back in. <laughs> oh. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I, I got the feeling that's where you belong. The only way to try to any real to the world come to make KB Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring $50,000. If you don't, I'll take that red diamond you received the other day instead. Oh, how about that? Yeah. Neat. So. That's a little bit disconnected for us to be able to just present this on this one, I think. Am I, am I right on that? But you don't need to press anything. Okay, okay, I figured. But so you can't present somewhere, just not there. Just 
Mr. Bullard who wrote the blackmail letter and sent it to Ron Delight, and as a handwriting test confirmed, it was him. And it was again Mr. Bullard who harbored a grudge against Mr. Delight for his betrayal. Mm. Mistake is quite excusable. The defendant truly believes I am. So, okay. Go back a little bit. Okay. So, read the blackmail letter again. Yeah, we know for a fact it was written by him. Yes, but where does it say that it was addressed to Ron Delight? It doesn't even say addressed oh. to Nicholas Cage. All we know is that it was found in Ron's apartment. At no point oh. does it say Nicholas. It doesn't say Nicholas Cage or Ron Delight. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That is interesting, huh? Should I just present this? Yup. Interesting. Yeah, because there's no that, proof that, it was well, sent to Ron. We did find it at his place, but... That's a different order yep. of operations than I expected. Mind if I give you a few questions, Detective At Me? Uh, well, uh, I... it's just a few. I guess that's all right. I think you meant ask, not give, but go ahead. Give... Giving number one. When you said that this letter was addressed to Ron Delight, I couldn't help but notice one major contradiction. Contradiction? I don't know where a walking contradiction like you gets off saying things like that. Got him. You're one to talk. At times like these, men are made to express themselves with their fists. Fight me, bitch. Toxic masculinity, thy name is Godot. <laughs> Fisty cuffs, bitch. Put him up. My <laughs> God. He does kind of look like the, um, that one clip of, oh, what's his name? The guy who played Superman in, in the Mission Impossible movie squaring up, uh, with, like, reloading his fucking fists. Yeah. <laughs> God, that, oh, was so that was stupid. Such, so where, stupid, Where, where he, like, squared up with his fists in the trailer yeah. and it made, like, a and every time he, like, sound. Yeah, as he shook his fist, just... <laughs> oh, it was so dumb. Yeah, it, fucking Mission Impossible, bloody hell. Anyways. What a fucking series. Why don't you show us what you've got there, Junior? A knife. A hacksaw. Oh, uh, uh, you, you're yeah, funny. You, you mentioned that. For, for, you were supposed to do the no. You, you missed the part of that joke. Huh? Like, what? Show, oh. that, that, that's the joke. Like, show me what you've got there. A knife. No. 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 Indeed. Time to man up, Mister Wright. Show us the contradicting evidence in the content of the clock. Uh, wait. Okay, huh? you need to prove... Hang on, let, let, me, let me think for a second. You need to prove the contradicting evidence in the content of the blackmail letter. So, who it's addressed to, because that isn't labeled. Yes. So, found in, found in Ron Delight's room. Can I present a profile, perhaps? It wouldn't really help. Okay, but we don't have the red diamond as... Evidence. Uh, Is that Kane's do... list again? Huh? Yeah, do we have Kane's list? Can you look of... at that again? Kane's... Just because it's oh, been a while since. Diamond is not. Unless the tier of eminent. Tier of eminent. eminent. Now, uh, do we, we never have knew a... what that was. Do we have a picture of that? No. Before we present? No, I believe we, we do. We. Well, I mean, it's on him, but I don't think we have a picture. No, 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 no. Check, uh. Okay, let me, check, let me check all the photographs that we have. Don't forget the news clipping. That's where, okay, yeah, I was trying to remember, like, what had something to do with... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. blue, hmm. okay, so not that. How about that? That's what Ron Delight stole. But that's not what he's asking for, and that's the only thing that's on there. So that's why it wouldn't be... So it's not that, then. You know. It doesn't make sense. Well, no, no, the, the blackmail letter directly states that, and Kane's list shows that he never stole another jewel. So therein lies proof that it's not for Ron. Yeah, because it says the, that red diamond, or red jewel, or fucking whatever. So and the only, guess... the only gemstone that Ron's stolen is that blue jewel. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, no, now, now I got it. So okay, I, was, I, was thinking too, I was thinking too that... far laterally here, but yeah, right yes. now we're trying to prove that it wasn't addressed to Ron. And the way we're proving yes. that is by the fact that Kane knew everything that Ron stole, and he specifically included something that Ron did not steal in the letter. Actually, exactly. what? That's not what you present. Okay. You need to present what the. It's already known what Ron stole. 
You need to provi uh, provide proof that it's not the red. You need the newspaper clipping. That really? makes sense. Like, yeah, it, well, it first, makes sense. First, you need to prove that um, that what he stole is blue and not red. Yeah, I feel then like we are jumping first. one step too far ahead with that. I think we'd we're be not. jumping a step ahead if we were then going to and Kane Bullard knew that or something. Yeah, that would be jumping too far. Yeah, okay. we first just need to establish difference in colors. Take a good look at this newspaper clipping. It contains a picture of the Tear of Eminon, the stolen jewel. What about it? The problem is this jewel's color. Wow, way to go there. I'm not much for discussing color myself. Don't yeah. make jokes. I wasn't oh, making jokes. Oh, I just realized something, because... huh? What? Yeah. No, I, I, What's I, that? Yeah, no, I, I get it. I get it now. Yeah. Poor guy. What do you do, do you? According to the clipping, the color of the stolen jewel was blue. However, I mean, seems to be getting in the blackmail time. letter, a totally different jewel is mentioned. Red! And that's exactly what he sounded like! The red diamond described in the blackmail letter is not the tear of Eminon that N N Nicolas Cage stole after all! You know, to be fair, that's... That's the only impression you could have been right about. We don't know what he sounded like. We never met him. <laughs> and your point is, Mr. Trite? I, again, this is why I feel like this would have made more sense if we did it in the reverse order. Like, if we if we presented saying that Cain knew everything that was stolen, and there's nothing about a red gem here, so why but would he... he no, there's it? nothing about a, a gem's color at all. Like, they exactly. would have then just said, like, um... Yeah, yeah and, and... Yeah, there's the Tear of Eminon, but then here also there's this. Yeah. I don't know. This way makes more sense to me. Uh, I'll see how the dialogue the plays out. And then point out, hey, look. I'll see how the dialogue plays out. It may make more sense after I see how the dialogue goes. So, you're trying to say that this blackmail letter was intended from someone else. That's what you're trying to say, right, Trite? That is what you're trying to say, right, Mr. Wright? Well, is that what you're trying to say? Th that what you're trying to say, right, Nick? I have no idea. Is there an echo in this room? This is who Kane Bullard was actually blackmailing. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Motherfucker! Me. Damn it. Press! At me! Okay. <laughs> Naturally, it was you. Detective's a strong word, at me. Do you have some sort of basis for that claim? You have been personally involved in every single Nicolas Cage case. And in the last case, you recovered what was stolen and received a jewel as your reward. Uh, a jewel. That's right. He, I, if I had remembered that, that would have made more sense. I forgot that he, that it was publicly known he received that as a reward. Yep. Okay, no, that, that, that whole thing makes a lot more sense now. Yep. I, I thought we were trying to establish that he took the jewel at some point, but no, okay. No, no. no. He's not that The one wrapped conspicuously around your finger. That red diamond ring. That is the diamond referred to in the letter, which means that Kane Bullard wrote the letter in order to blackmail you. Oh, what a horrible frame for that to pause on. Yep. Oh my god. Um, or, 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 it seems you've gone too far with your childish pranks, Mr. Trite. Uh-oh, I don't like the way you said that. Kane Bullard blackmailing Luke at me? Are you for real? <laughs> I like how his persona's breaking down now. Are you for real? <laughs> Are you fucking yes, kidding me? I am for real. Nick, come on, stand up to him. Then answer me this. The blackmail letter contains the following passage. If you don't want your identity revealed to the world, Yes, it certainly does. Kane Bullard threatened to make Luke Atme's identity public knowledge. An identity he wanted to keep secret. So just what was that identity? I can absolutely believe it was just something like he, he, he's, a, he's a fucking sexual predator or something. He, moved, he changed his name, moved to, a new, well, moved, moved to a new country. Remember, in this fucking world, sexual predators aren't apparently criminals. Yeah, that's because right. yeah. Of, one of our crimes. Yeah, I was gonna say, as because the, we keep the big, getting, the them, top getting them off. Yeah. 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 
Etnie killed Kane Bullard because he was afraid of his secret becoming known. What was the identity he wanted to keep secret? This is what it all comes down to, Nick. The identity that Luke Atney wanted so desperately to keep secret was his identity as... A blackmailer as the mask based detective. Well, well we know two of those aren't obvious. correct. So it has to be the third one as a result. Yep. Yep. Oh. A lot of things just clicked into place for you, didn't they? I understand now. <laughs> <laughs> Luke at me was a blackmailer. Objection. What would Godot's persona be? Um, it would be, it would be Java. It would be the name, and it would be basically like a, a cup of coffee crying. <laughs> I was gonna say it would be like a a kind of like amorphous blob of coffee that takes various crying, shapes, yeah. but also crying. Yes, it's just the crying emoji. <laughs> Never Let's say that coffee. again. Also, hey now, isn't that a little different from what you've been saying? Hey now, you're an... You said that... Oh, whoops. You said that Kane Bullard was the one blackmailing Luke at me. Are you saying hey that at me was bla uh, blackmailing someone else on top of that? Ugh, I have to admit, that does sound a little odd. It's not odd. It's the only thing that makes any sense. Kane Bullard was blackmailing Luke at me. But, Ron Delight was also being blackmailed by a, I, Why do I even say a certain someone? You know exactly the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> so did you... So, did you start to receive blackmail letters starting after this incident? That is what we are claiming. That's not a crime, is it? Someone else came up with their plans Yossi. and had Mr. Delight steal his targets for him. Why did you sound like me in your flashback? <laughs> Shut up! And that someone is another than Luke Abbey! I mean, I'm flattered, but I'm also really creeped out. <laughs> now I see! It's all becoming clear! Is there a phrase for that? Flattered and what creeped out. When you were in grade school, you received, a se re received the same report card every year. Careless with the tendency to jump to conclusions. Am I wrong? Oh, God, how did you go? Oh. You say that I, look at me, was blackmailing Ron Delight. In which case, I would naturally know all about his relation to Nicolas Cage. Oh, yeah? Ron Delight started receiving plans from his second crime onward, correct? Which means I learned of his identity when he committed that first crime. Good point. You certainly couldn't have blackmailed otherwise. Oh, what? Sorry, I was lost in my own head there for a moment. <laughs> if there's not a phrase for that, I need to invent it. In that case, let's see some hot, bitter evidence. During the first crime, how did Luke Atme know that Ron Delight was masked a mask? Right, let me think this out before you say anything. Yep. How could he have known that Ron Delight was masked a mask? I mean, we've seen from the newspaper clipping, he was there, and didn't Ron say that um that uh, the his uniform was found at the scene, but he thought it was no, no, it was yeah, it was that it was found and taken. Yes. But I don't know if this this picture proves anything. It could at least Does be any... the start for us proving it. Okay. I'll give it a go. Wait. I on. mean, do you have anything else that would prove it more? Not really. Yeah. No. Exactly. I think I see it. See what? When you were in grade school, you received the same report card every year. Gets into lots of mischief trying to be the center of attention. Jesus. This newspaper clipping. It has a picture of you and Ron Delight in his guard uniform. It seems that Nicolas Cage didn't just disappear into thin air. He just took off his outfit and hid it in a bucket. That sounds far too stupid to be true! <laughs> Add that to the collage. Yeah, Add that yeah, to the collage. Absolutely yep. going on the collage. 
Yep. 100% going on the collage. Hold the fucking phone. If ever there were a sentence to describe our style as a defense attorney. Oh my god. I am I am so happy right now. Alright, let me just get this done real quick. Uh, oh, whoops, that's the old collage. I was like, why is Francesca here? She's always here. Hiding in She's here hearts. in our hearts. <laughs> Kissing. Should I include the judge's name in this? Yes. I think it's important that the judge is credited for this. Yeah. Credit to the artist, Lamau, who did this. Sorry. Are you? No. Adding it to the collage real quick. There we go. And the problem is where I put this, it kind of blends directly into the line below it. Oh. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. You think that's good? Here, yeah, no, I actually, think it's good. No, actually, yeah. I, I, I'm gonna put it up top instead. I'll put it up here instead. I think, I think I'll be fine. Also, yes, my hair got very long. I, I hope you don't mind my long hair. Hang on and save. Uh, yeah, that's good. I might fix that a little bit later, but for now it's good. <laughs> Alright. That sounds far thing. too stupid to be true. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, I, 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 I hope you all like long hair, honestly. Uh, I'm thinking about getting it cut, but I don't want to do it if it, it looks good. With tricks yeah, like nice that, hair. you couldn't fool a baby, let alone an ace detective. And that's when you figured it out, Mr. Act. That's when you learned that under his mask, Nicolas Cage was really Ron Delight! What? Oh, wasn't was he supposed, supposed to be, be Nicholas Cage? Cage? Look at that, looks like he wasn't even used to touch him. I can't believe it! He was so simply a blackmailer! What a fraud! Trying to pass him off as a Tadaka! Why, you. How dare you expose me like that! Why, I. I mean, I, I've never blackmailed anyone in my life! I'm a famous Sorry. and proud East detective and also Nicholas Cage! Why can't you understand that? I'm afraid you are neither a proud thief nor an ace detective. You're a blackmailer and a murderer. That is your true identity! Why, 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 why you? How dare you tell Belinda Gap and Little Luther Rolling Death when you're trying to do something with yourself? Make one laugh. Uh. Okay. So is that a thing I should get used to if I'm gonna be around here? Yes. Oh God. That was uh, quite a performance by Mr. Atme. I actually gave myself a fucking headache doing that. Jesus. Yeah, I, would imagine. I can feel you getting lightheaded doing that. <laughs> Bailiff, please prepare a shell for Mr. God damn it! I'm having too much fun. <laughs> the hammer that strikes too fast is no time to aim. What do you mean? I'm already prepared to deliver my sentence! Allow me to say one thing. I will be the one to judge. No! <laughs> You don't get much more in your face than that. It appears that your claws weren't quite sharp enough, Mr. Trite. Well, that certainly was something. Yeah! What? Where do you... It's true that you've proven a lot of things. Things like Luke Atme was a filthy blackmailer, and that he wasn't at Lordly Taylor the night of the murder. That's right, that's why he was the one who killed Mr. Bull! But... 
there's still one thing you've yet to prove. What's that? Just because he wasn't at the warehouse doesn't mean he was at the murder scene. Therefore, if you can't prove that this pitiful excuse for a man was at KB security, then I don't see how a verdict can be delivered. No way! Order in this court! Well, Mr. Wright, this is it. This is the final round. I've got to prove that Atme was at Mr. Bullard's office on that night. Why am I saying this out loud? But, but, but. Can you really prove that? Sorry, you don't give me some of this coffee. I'm being a bit. <laughs> I'm going nuts. Also, <laughs> your honor, his silhouette appeared in a cutscene. <laughs> That's long enough. Mr. Trite, I want to hear your answer. That night, Luke Atme was at KB Security. And the defense... Let me check. I think I can. He wears gloves. Can you? Uh, actually, I don't know. Let me see. So the key card was only used once on the door. Or, you know, the door was only opened once, rather. Or no, this key card was used once. That's what we know. We know yeah, the key, the key card, card was, used, was once. used once. It's a camera data. They used the same sprite. No, they used the same sprite three times. Or no, wait, did they? Oh no, okay. I thought we had a. You know, we don't have the record. It just says here. Yeah. Remember, Larry wouldn't give us the record. So I don't know if we can improve it. Actually, I don't know if we have anything. That directly proves it. And say we can. Yeah, because probably if we could have proven that earlier, we would have. I can't prove it. Just as I thought. But if we hear more of Detective Atme's testimony. Unfortunately, that's as far as you go, Mr. Trite. What do you mean? I won't allow for any more testimony. That's what I mean. What? Have you forgotten? Luke At Atme is here after we interrupted his own trial. And you have failed to prove that he committed the murder. I think it's time for this witness to return to his own trial. And face his guilty verdict as Nicolas Cage. Oh! Well now, sir lawyer, it seems that love wins out in the end after all. I am the ace detective as well as the Nicholas Cage! My verdict will verify that, just as Ron Delights will verify that he is the true murderer. I declare with the full force of my ace detectiveness. Order in this court! That's enough deliberation over the way. I can't believe this at this rate, Rodis. Don't give up now, Nick. We still have tomorrow. We can look for more evidence and... By then it'll be too late. Huh? Why? Uh... Double jeopardy. One of the basic rules of any court of law. Funny enough, only showing up now. Yeah? Double in the third jeopardy? game. About court. Should have been to be tried in foundation court. And it cannot be tried again for the same crime. This is a fundamental rule of all courts. And it applies to this witness as much as it applies to anyone else. Mr. Atme will be found guilty in a matter of minutes. Guilty as Nicholas Cage. Which means... He will be innocent as far as the murder of Kane Bullard is concerned. That actually has nothing to do with Double Jeopardy. That actually doesn't, yes. No way! The fact that you weren't able to prove Mr. Atme's guilt of that crime here means that he will never again be tried as King Bullard's murderer. I mean, well, technically, I mean, the, he's not being tried as a murderer. Game over. Now there's nothing I can possibly do to win. Even if Ron is proclaimed to be innocent, the real killer, Luke Atme, will go... Well, I mean, he'll still be arrested, but... But not for life. Or executed. Well, cross to examine every statement the witnesses made. No more testimony. I'm afraid I'll have to declare there will be no further question of this witness. Are there any objections? And I hereby end the crossing examination of the Hold it! Objection! Oh, wait, what? I think I see it. Your Honor. 
When you were a child, oh. this is what was on your report card every year. Has poor hearing, and often makes mistakes as a result. How did you- Phoenix, raise your head up high. Have you forgotten what I used to tell you? A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. That- that voice! Go away! What's up, bitches? Long time no see, Phoenix. Oh, this is the true power of the Korean channeling technique. I know that it's really Maya who's standing before me, but right now she's- But now the useful the sister's here! <laughs> oh, thank God you're useful. Now, let's do this. But uh, there's nothing more we can do, Mia! Without any more testimony, I can't cross-examine! Not yet. Testimony's not over yet. What, what, what do you mean? Your Honor, just now you said something very interesting. You have cross-examined every statement the witness has ma made here today. Yes, that's true, but... Unfortunately, Your Honor, you're forgetting something. Earlier, after the last cross-examination, this witness made a number of remarks. Oh god, it's her doing a flashback of him. Well now, Sir Lawyer, it seems <laughs> that the one's out in the end after all. I am the Ace Detective, as well as Nicolas Cage. My verdict will verify that. Just as Rondelites will verify that he is the true murderer. I declare that with the full force of my ace detectiveness. And that's exactly what he sounded like. Oh, you do that too. Very well, then shall we prove the importance, their importance via cross-examination. At any rate, as long as the witness has made these remarks, we, the defense, assert our right to question them. Entirely fair. Is that alright with you, prosecutor? How did your brush do that? Is something the matter, Mr. Godot? Uh, nothing. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, that... Lawyer. That 19-year-old turned into a full-grown woman. I... I'm confused. It looks like you're one step too late. If you think such falsehoods will do any good to me, look at... Let's hear it. Thank you, Godot. Ah? Uh? It's true that the witness made some remarks. So then, let's hear this last bit of cross-examination. Mr. Godot, what are you? Very well then, look at me. I'll allow the defense to cross-examine your earlier remarks. The defense would like to hear why you declare the defendant to be the true murderer. So please, give us one last bit of testimony. I... Uh... Phoenix, this is it. This is our absolute last chance. Don't fuck it up again. Y yes, Chief! Oh shit, sorry, I just punched my microphone. Good job. Also, wow. I don't know about Getting you guys, here. but I like the idea of the weird as fuck Godot being the straight man to all the, like, supernatural bullshit in this world. Yep. Like, oh. what, I excuse me, did that little girl just become a full-grown adult? What the fuck? Also, I really have to pee. I'm just we'll be, my coffee. We'll be right back, everyone. Don't go anywhere. I probably should be. Yeah, because we'll be right I'm back, everyone. I'm here. Let's go! What's up? Uh, I don't know if uh, everyone's here yet. Well, that's alright, because I wanted a chance to uh, actually fix the collage bit here anyways. 
because it's uh it's a little blurry and off center. I want to fix that. Fair enough. Uh, let me swap back to while we wait for Marina. Just gonna fix this collage real quick. It's really important. Oh, hey, you back? Yeah, sorry that took a second. Oh, it's okay. I, I'm just fixing the collage real quick. Uh, fixing the uh, the. That's far too stupid to be true. Bit. Sprucing it up. Yeah, it's just a little off center and a little uh, a little off looking. Four and flatten and save and okay and much better. There we go. Okay, here we go. Indeed, it is true that I was not at Lord Lane Taylor. I had to leave to see about another vitally important job request. I had known about the date beforehand, so I had this photograph readied. My brilliant deduction is what informed me that the true culprit was Ron Delight. And thanks to the key card and wallet, it was abundantly clear that he was there. Interesting. I was also able to make a deduction from the buzzer, which only sounded once. The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? The victim would have left prints if he had sounded it, which means the killer sounded it. Mr. Delight was wearing his Nicholas Cage outfit, which is why he left no prints. And the blackmail letter, the victim likely just mistook the color of the jewel. Zavari! Therefore, all the evidence points to that poor boy. I worked very hard to make sure it did, um, I mean... <laughs> the testimony actually seems to hold up pretty well. The witness's early remarks don't, uh, don't appear to have been hastily prepared. Also, I really do like that he's showing his ace detectiveness here. Yep. All of the points have been explained and none of them seem to contradict anything. But of course! Except what? for one very clear contradiction. Yeah, I know. How did you know about the emergency buzzer? The police investigation documents went directly through me, and I always look over all the documents. It's elementary, sir, lawyer! <sighs> Are you going to make even more trouble for us now, you sir, lawyer? You bet your ass I am! That's my job! I will not allow any of your usual shenanigans, Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor! We cannot postpone Luke Atme's trial any longer. This is your last chance. Uh, hang on a sec, just one chance? Huh. It seems that the party's about to begin. Well, Phoenix? There isn't any evidence to contradict that, Amano! So it would yeah. seem. What do you mean, so it would seem? Listen, Phoenix, pointing out contradictions doesn't always mean you have to present evidence, does exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. Uh-huh. At any rate, this is our last chance. If you can't point out a, con a case-breaking contradiction, you lose. That's all there is to it. Cup number 17. The last cup. It seems like the time has come to put an end to this trial. I time trials exclusively on coffee. I have to find a fatal contradiction do, in this testimony. Do you not? I is that, time is them that on weird? The, on my hair's turning gray! And I need to point it out without presenting evidence. And all I can do is find the contradictory remark and press it! Remember... You only get one chance. Okay, so I have to be really careful. I can only press one statement. It's a game mechanic, Phoenix. Very well then, Mr. Wright. Please begin your final cross-examination. The last testimony. All right, don't tell me what I need to do. Let me see if I can figure this out, but I won't press anything until I'm absolutely certain. It's true that I was not at Lordly Taylor. True. I had to leave to see about another vitally important job request. Don't... Prop bullshit, but we don't have any way of going on about that, and he could easily come up with some shit. Yep. I had known about the date beforehand, that just goes goes ahead with what he said earlier. My brilliant deduction was what informed me that the true culprit was Ron Delight. Okay. And thanks to the key card and wallet, it was abundantly clear that he was there. He would have known about that from the detective report. That was the mm -hmm. hang on. Well, wait, wait, were they found there? Larry found them. Hang on. They were still returned, but we know about them because I'm pretty sure we used them in court. Yeah, okay. And he was there for that. I was also able to make a deduction from the buzzer, which only sounded once. Okay, that's what was in the police report. Yes. So Establish that. The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? The victim would have left prints if he sounded it, which means the killer sounded it. But why? Again, I'm not presenting, I'm just looking. Reminder, we have no evidence that can be Yeah, yeah, use. I know. I'm, I'm, yeah. Just, I'm just reading the evidence. There are no fingerprints on it. 
Now that he would know. He was wearing his outfit, which is mm -hmm. why he left no prints. Hang mm -hmm. on. However, let me, let me think about that. That was not at all included anywhere. We, that we, was. We said that, but that, I think that was before he was there. Before he. This was, was brought up him. while he was on trial. In the other room. Yep. Which he could not. And it hear. shocked everyone here. Bingo. They made a big point of Hold how it, it shocked everyone. Here. Hold it! Hold it! Oba! Press. <laughs> okay, okay, thanks, game. <laughs> Mr. Atme, about this last remark. You still don't get it, do you, Trite? You only have one chance to present your badge. <laughs> this isn't the time to be pressing the witness on every little statement. I'm afraid you're the one who still doesn't get it, Mr. Godot. What? What? Mr. Atme, it seems you have finally admitted that you were in the CEO's office on the night of the murder. Uh, how can you say that? Let's review your testimony, shall we, Mr. Atme? Is this correct? Indeed, that's exactly what I sounded like. My deductions are absolutely full of work. More like your deductions prove that you're a fool. Got him. Nice. I, I'm sorry, whatever do you mean? For some reason, I'm oh. starting to get really thirsty. When exactly did we learn the fact that Ron Delight was dressed as Nicolas Cage when he went to the scene of the crime? Why is that me a sim? <laughs> it's just sim simless, you're right. That was, um... It was just a few hours ago. Back when my sixth cup was looking at me with a cold stare. Wow, so Oh, happy. this is him doing a flashback of Ron. Huh? Oh, did I forget to mention it before? Okay, I think I like where you're going with this, but I want you to go even further. He's trying to act, but he's really bad at it. Huh? <laughs> oh, did I forget to mention it before? I'm sorry. I just never had a chance to mention it up until now. That's so good. And that's exactly what he sounded like. That's exactly what he sounded like. The defendant had yet to tell anyone else that fact before this morning. Therefore, the only people who should know about this are those who have been watching this trial. Do you understand now, Detective At Me? There is no way you should have known about that! You were in the next courtroom being tried as Nicholas Cage. So then enlighten us. Just how did you know about that piece of information? Uh, do, well... Come on. This detective must have known about it. He probably had plenty of chances to find out beforehand. I like that his sprite changes when he doesn't have coffee when he's doing this. Yeah. Yeah. And it's those chances that I want to discuss next. That night, me, 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 there is one and only one way for Detective Atme to have found that out! Only one? One way, you say? Please remember, if you will, Mr. Delight's testimony! <laughs> Did you see that flashback? For a second, my client witnessed the real killer! But Mr. Delight never saw him. There's no way to tell whether or not the real killer was Luke at me. Were you even looking at the DS screen? It's with that statement that I'll turn this case on its head. J just what are you saying? Mr. Delight saw the real killer, correct? Now turn that statement around. It stands to follow that the real killer had also seen Ron Delight. I impossible. Are we finally gonna s How could it be?! Holy shit, we were wrong the whole time! It was Larry! <laughs> it's Larry has a giant wound on his head from when he got clocked in the face by, by his ex's boyfriend. Yeah. Uh, yep. Detective Atby, you saw Nicolas Cage at the murder scene that night! You saw him when you killed Kane Bullard and assaulted Ron Delight! That was the only way you could have known what Ron was wearing! Uh, um, uh, 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 what? What? 
He's going Super Saiyan! <laughs> Look, everyone! Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself! Here I am, the tragic clown! That's technically still right. That's the same line you gave yesterday. You know, I was literally just what? about to say, I remember, uh, I like this line better the first time you did it. <laughs> so, I even I can't make jokes anymore. Behind it this time. <laughs> What an awfully complicated person. Kane Bowler was blackmailing Luke at me, who was in turn blackmailing Ron Delight. And upon killing his blackmailer, Luke at me tried to frame Ron Delight. He then claimed to be guilty as Nicolas Cage in order to escape his true crime. And to that end, he came up with this plan to use the double jeopardy rule when making his alibi. Um. I was gonna say. At any rate, it would seem we finally found the truth. Excuse me. Is anyone gonna talk to that young man? I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of murderer. Don't ignore me! I killed him! Oh, I didn't realize you were there. I did. Wouldn't he be? Um, about the verdict. Mia, don't worry. We, we, we know what we're doing. I know. You never committed any murder. Th that's right. I'm so glad you understand that, but... I, um... I really am Nicolas Cage! Huh? So, thanks to that trial yesterday, I'm innocent now, right? Oh shit, he's- Double Jeopardy works on Double him Jeopardy! Too. Uh -huh. Oh my oh, fucking god! Oh yeah! Uh. <laughs> what was that- what was it you said again? Double Jeopardy? No, that you mentioned it- Oh god! I've been careless. This is why I'm glad I'm dead. Careless? Uh, what do you think, Mia? I'm glad I left him. As a defendant says, <laughs> the rule of double jeopardy is absolute. As defendant, uh, ah, 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 a defendant can never be tried twice for a crime in which he was found innocent. Then, Nicholas Cage is really innocent? For now. It seems so. If he ever did another crime, then he uh, then he would be he could be convicted for that because it would yes. be a separate yeah, incident. Yeah, he's got that look in his eye. He hangs around us long enough. Ow! <laughs> he's gonna be our best friend. Now then, this court finds the defendant not guilty. Yay! We let a felon go free. Yeah, he was only he was only a thief. Boy, Not this is really lucky. Wait, I, I, um, that isn't so good after all. See, the thing is, I still am Nicolas Cage after all. Yeah, we know, but you can't be fucking tried for it. Well, if he steals again. Oh, yeah, only if you steal again. You did it, And Nick. Someone, someone could very easily frame him by making a replica outfit and oh, I'm sure. yeah, that's crime. Nice. Thanks, Mia. Uh, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because Maya doesn't call on me much these days. Oh? I'm just joking, Phoenix. Don't take everything so seriously. Seriously, could you she call calls me, me that? all the time? Please, <laughs> tell her to stop. But on the other hand, Maya, she seems kind of lost these days. You mean about becoming the master of the Korean channeling school? Becoming the master means saying goodbye to her mother. You mean Misty Faye? Watch over her, will you, Phoenix? Oh god, responsibility? Well then, see you around. No, wait, don't leave me with this! I gotta peace out before Godot arrives, bye! Uh, Mr. Wright, um, I, uh, I don't know what to say. Congratulations, you fucking thief. Thank you so much. Uh, no, wait. Nothing really matters anymore, though, now that all this has happened. Come on, just be happy already! Maya! You've been cleared of the murder charges and got off as Nicolas Cage to boot! Yeah, don't tell a depressed person to just be happy, okay? That's not yeah. cool. But in exchange, I lost everything. Huh? What do you mean? My wife left me. Stealing security information from KB Security, becoming Nicolas Cage. I did it all for one reason. For her. Also, getting hired after this will be very difficult. Anyone Googles yeah. my name and all of this will come up. Wife Desiree? 
Desiree, yes. She hates Desiree. criminals more than anything. She was once held hostage by some robbers, wasn't she? She always said, said how she hated sneaky criminals. I knew that. I knew that, but... Once I got fired from KB Security and lost all the money I had, she wouldn't have any reason to stay with me. Is there any part of this relationship that you enjoy? <laughs> the, wait, you cut out what? Is there any part of this relationship that you enjoy, Ron? I thought she would leave me for sure. So that's why you became Nicolas Cage. Also, the sex is amazing, but it's all over now. <laughs> She's really good at making costumes. <laughs> <laughs> Broken Bowl can never be put back together. Th that's not true, right, Nick? I don't know, I've broken plenty of bowls in my time. Oh, and you haven't put any of them back together. Oh, really? Boy. Can we go back to the way things were? You'll be fine, and Nick can prove it! I Look, can't. Edgeworth is in the corner, go talk to him! Oh god, I kinda wish you would check with me first. Mr. Delight, even if a bowl is broken, there's always a way- I, I know what I have to fucking resent. No shit! <laughs> I don't know if it's this one or if it's the picture. It's that one. It's this one, this one's put back together. You're fucked! Damn it. Edgeworth! Sacred Urn. Desi was the one who found this. Desiree, your wife? She always believed in you, Ron. You're doing this on purpose now, aren't you? That's why you'll be fine. You don't have to worry about anything. Oh, there you are! Miss Delight, I'm leaving you! You did it, Ronnie! You're innocent! I'm so happy! Thank you. I appreciate that, but, um, I suppose you don't want anything to do with me anymore, do you? Ronnie! Why didn't you talk to me about what was going on? Good fucking question! <laughs> I had no idea you'd quit KB Security. I'd uh, never imagined that you were really Nicolas Cage, either. Quit. Yes, that's what I did. Yeah, I, I quit, yeah. Miss Delight, what are you gonna do now that you know? You you're not really gonna leave him, are you? Come on, it's obvious, isn't it? How could I ever let a wonderful man like him get away? After all, my bike's really fast. So fast that there's no uh, way he can ever get away! Uh, but didn't he say you hated criminals? Hmm? Oh, I only hate people who act all cowardly and sneaky. She did specify that. True. Yeah, she did. She did say she didn't have a problem with thieves, just people who were cowardly and sneaky. Like that detective. I see. My Ronnie went and declared his crimes and <laughs> he committed them like a man. Oh my fucking god. I just love a man who's so chivalrous. Chivalrous? I knew I was right about you. Every day I spend with you is filled with thrills and excitement. Oh, Desi. Zyri, you really do love Ron, don't you? Nikki boy. Yeah? I'm really glad I asked you to defend my Ronnie. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Oh, well, uh, you could pay me or something. Mm, you too, Nikki boy. Mr. Nick, Mr. Kvaya, congratulations! The sound that made implied she just fucking slammed Desiree aside. <laughs> she threw her- no, she fucking literally kicked open the doors. Yes, the doors just fall off. <gasps> Talk about bad timing. Mr. Nick, how could you? With another man's wife in front of a- Kvaya! No, 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 you got- I'll never oh, forgive you, never no. ever! Oh, fuck! And then, Phoenix Wright was beaten by a nine-year-old. We're now in the trial of the assault against Mr. Phoenix Wright. So just as okay. came to a close, so did my consciousness! Yeah, she actually knocked him out. Holy yep. shit! Ron said a broken bowl can never be put back together, but I know that's not true. I mean, just look. Oh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! Wowzers! That's so nice! Just and now in the next yeah. trial, Phoenix has amnesia. Oh no! <laughs> Here's a perfect example of one that was put back together even better than before. Covered in blood and pain and cracks. And all the ash is just fucking gone at this point. 
There's a loose spirit somewhere out there in the world. Stolen turnabout, the end. <sighs> Excellent. What's next, even? Oh, God, is this a cooking-themed one? Oh, yeah! Maybe. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, I'm excited. Maybe. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, that was a really Wee -wee. good That was Wee -wee. really good. Wee wee. Wee wee. All right. Thank you all so much for coming by. That's episode two complete. We will start episode three next week. We'll try to we'll try to actually maintain the schedule for a week for once. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just things keep coming up. Uh, I do hope you all enjoyed that. I was having a lot of fun. Thank you for the bits and the subscriptions and the gifted subs and the donations. It all adds up. It all means a lot. It means I can keep doing this, and we can keep doing this, and we can all keep having a good time. Yeah. Hey. Hope you all have a good day. Tomorrow, I'm not sure when I'm streaming yet. Uh, I'll stream something fun, though. Y you'll see. It'll be a fun video game. A video game. A trust. fun one. Just trust me. Take it That's easy, good. everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. 17 cups.